to formally open the event, uh, the opening remarks would be delivered by our Dean Perita M. Tuchis of Adamson University. Good afternoon to everyone. So in behalf of uh, San Pedro College, Dean Fatima May Tesoro, I would like to welcome you all in this My Dispense e-training. We hope that uh, since we are the only universities who are using this free simulation laboratory in, in the country, together with SPC, so we plan to share this with PACOP and non-PACOP schools. Uh, of course, in collaboration with all of you present today. So uh, we have representatives from uh, UP Manila, Dr. Capule, and uh, Sir Sison, I think. Uh, we also have from uh, St. Louis University, uh, headed by Ma'am Roda. And also, I would like to thank Dr. Faller, our speaker, for uh, generously sharing his time and expertise in the utilization of my dispense. Uh, this is just an initial collaboration with SPC. We hope for further partnership with SPC and other universities for the benefit of pharmacy education in our country. So in this pandemic time, we are challenged on how we deliver the instruction to our students. We are fortunate that the Monash University shared to us the simulation laboratory for free and hopefully forever will be free. So it is our role to share this with our uh, uh, PACOP and, non and future PACOP members to enhance the teaching and learning process. So I would like to thank also Sir Anthony Oli and Ma'am Anjali Andrescover for organizing this training. And to all faculty present, thank you for your time. Your presence only means we want the best for our students. Again, thank you and keep safe everyone. Good afternoon. Thank you for that welcome, Judge Dean Lucis. For our speaker today, he is the Director of the Internationalization and Linkages in San Pedro College, Davao City. He taught in several universities, such as the Bournemouth University in the United Kingdom, SPGI University in Malaysia, and former Dean of Tagum Doctors College. He established the first my Dispense here in the Philippines, and now is the coordinator and focal person on My Dispense Philippines. Without further ado, let us welcome with a round of applause, Dr. Edwin uh, Erwin Paler. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Sir Oli. Uh, I would like to thank first Adamson for organizing this in collaboration with uh, University of the Philippines, Manila, and San Pedro College with Adamson University. I think uh, we have also other universities here. Uh, it's quite familiar from St. Louis uh, University. Uh, and I think uh, as what Ma Dean Perley had mentioned that uh, we can open this one to PACOP and uh, future PACOP members. Okay, uh, let me share my screen. Okay. So this would be a three hours training for all of us, for all of us uh, with regards to the My Dispense. So uh, first of all, I would like to introduce, as what introduced a while ago, I'm the Director of Internationalization and Linkages in San Pedro College. At the same time also, I'm teaching in the pharmacy department uh, at the same time, also, I'm the My Dispense Simulation Lead and the coordinator uh, and the focal person of the My Dispense of Philippines. No? And uh, the professor and the visiting professor then of Bournemouth University, uh, United Kingdom. Just want to reiterate also uh, some acknowledgement here. Uh, the organizer, Adamson University, headed by Dean Perlita M. Cusis and also the Faculty of Pharmacy for organizing this uh, particular training or workshop. And also Dean uh, Fatima May Tesoro for, uh, for collaborating 
with Adamson University and University of the Philippines also uh, for this training. I think that's the principle of Dean Fatima May to become inclusive then, uh, not exclusive, but inclusive then uh, for the use of the My Dispense. And also the faculty uh, here uh, from University of the Philippines, San Pedro College, Adamson University, and St. Louis uh, University, okay, and others. So just a disclaimer before I'm going to start that this is not a product presentation uh, like other else to showcase my dispense, nor a representative of my dispense to sell, nor to promote my dispense in your institution. So uh, this is not exclusive, but this is actually inclusive to all. So this is actually a free so software that can be used, but of course you need to undergo such uh, registration in the Monash University, Australia. The presenter is not a representative nor an agent of Monash University, Australia, nor an employee. I'm just a focal person of the My Dispense Philippines, just recently. Anything that is recorded or broadcast as of the moment uh, should have a permission of the presenter and the organizer uh, with regards to the presentation. And the training conducted has not been paid by my dispense nor Monash University Australia and only as an advocacy of the presenter. The logo of the my dispense used by the presenter has a permission and this particular training was actually uh, permitted then by, uh, by uh, my dispense no? from the product support of the my dispense. So uh, I'm going to welcome all of you to our workshop. And of course, this is a collaborative ap uh, approach for all of us you know, going into the, the use of the My Dispense. Okay, just what will going to happen for today. Uh, let's try to have an expectation check of what is going on and how you'll be able to use My Dispense. We're going to have a brief orientation of my dispense and the concept of learning. We're gonna get started on what are some of the view of the students and the instructors or the lecturers. We'll be able to familiarize with the interface of the My Dispense. And if you are ready then, we'll be able to develop the unit to tutorial to workshop. And we'll be able to have development of the patient's case the student assigned tasks for the tutorial, and the time-bounded assessment. So we're going to have a workshop for that. And we're going to have our assessment then on to check for the My Dispense. And uh, I think in May, we're going to share, we're going to share us, to us how can you maximize then your My Dispense in other subjects, not only in the dispensing classes. And of course, uh, one of my colleagues here, we're gonna present also some testimonies uh, from his side on the use of the My Dispense. And the presentation of an output later. So remember, this is an outcome-based workshop and training. So I'm not gonna talk and talk about My Dispense, but you're gonna share to me on what you have learned for today basing on your output. So that would be five minutes per participant. Okay, so all in all, that would be uh, three hours for our training and workshop. Now, I'm going to uh, try to get to know uh, for those uh, pop-up members here. No? I'm going to stop share and let's try to talk. What would be uh, your, uh, your expectation for today? And how often is it that you actually use your My Dispense? How often is it or how extensive it is then that you use your My Dispense? Baka medyo extensive na so that I can actually level my uh, presentation. Okay, let's start with uh, the some of our colleagues here. Ma'am Marianne. Uh, don't be shy, you can actually open your camera also so that it will be more engaging for all of us. If you have a good connection, then 
I can open your camera so that I can actually uh, feel you no, during the presentation and the workshop. Yes po. Yeah, yan ang ating mga part of the, the engagement with our student. Yes po, Ma'am Marian. Good yes. afternoon, sir. Good afternoon everyone. Po. Still on the explorer. Uh, you are from which uh, university po? Miss University po. Okay. Uh, what is your expectation po, Ma'am Marian, regarding our uh, workshop po for today? Uh, more on the functionality of my dispense and how we can utilize it in uh, teaching our classes. Uh, functionality wiser orientation on how we can apply uh, my dispense, both in dispensing and uh, I was hoping to get a glimpse of its functionality as well in clinical pharmacy. Mm. Okay, thank you very much for that. So functionality, I think uh, that will be discussed by yours truly and uh, in application then with others that will be discussed by uh, Dean May. No? And uh, one you, of Dr. my colleagues also will have a testimony later also. Thank you very much, Marianne. How about, is it Raya uh, Nadine? Yes, Paul, Mama D Nadine. Um, good afternoon po sa good lahat. Good afternoon. Apo. Um, ako po, um, in-expect ko po na um, mag, yun din po, magkaroon ng glimpse or idea and na magkaroon ng hindi lang po glimpse or idea pero um, yung kung paano gagamitin yung sa my dispense lalo na ngayon na um, online distance learning po. Ayan po. Thank you po. Uh, you're from Adamson po, ma'am? Um, sir, from St. Louis University uh, from po. From St. Louis po. Okay. So, yes. do you have uh, my dispense already in St. Louis? Um, sir, yes po. Meron po ako. Okay. I personal account po parang nag-apply po nung nag-sign in po or dito po. Nag-sign up para dito sa seminar. Pero may URL na po ang St. Louis uh, ng my dispense po. Ay, yes po, sir. Okay. Yes po, sir. Okay, thank you very much for that, Nadine. Okay, see thank you, sir. Ma'am Ma uh, Roda po. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Good Ma afternoon Roda. po, ma'am. Yes po. Ayan, so first of all po, thank you po for inviting us. Kasi meron nga po kaming uh, account po sa my dispense pero hindi pa namin na-explore masyado. So, ayun. Sobrang laking tulong po nito sa atin for this uh, semester po. Thank you po. Okay, thank you po, Ma'am Roda. Okay, so uh, let's proceed to uh, Katrina po. Ma'am Katrina, yes po. Hello po. Yes po. Hello po. I'm from St. Louis University po. Teaching dispensing din po. And I expect po for this training na to learn to use and to utilize this um, software or this uh, um, this uh, my dispense. And of course, I would like, I also expect na uh, we will be able to learn and also how for how how are we going to to um, how are we going to uh, instruct also the student in a friendly way po para para paano po malalaman or paano po namin matututunan collaboratively kung paano gamitin ang my dispense thank you po okay thank you very much Ma'am Katrina so let's proceed to uh, Lord Win sir Okay. Hello po. Hello po. Sorry po, umuulan po dito sa area po. Um, narinig po ba ako? Yes po. 
Okay po. Um, my expectation for... Actually, I already um, watched some um, videos regarding my dispense on YouTube. And this is very... Um, this kind of uh, innovation, especially for the academe, um, in order for us to also um, relay some techniques, um, especially that we are having this uh, pandemic, um, regarding the, of course, dispensing. And uh, personally, um, I'm teaching dispensing to po. And um, the focus of dispensing to is on the um, patient care process. And I want to really um, make it a point to my students that um, the patient care process is not only limited for um, uh, the hospital setting, but we can also use the patient care process inside the community. That's why um, I think this, uh, my dispense, this um, software will be a good help for um, us faculty members, uh, instructors um, to um, relay uh, information, knowledge, and skills to our students. Okay, thank you very much, Sir Lord Wien. Thank you, Paul. Okay, I think the concept is already there about my dispense. Uh, as what mentioned a while ago, it's uh, all about utilization with our uh, program or simulated program. Now, let's move on to Ms. Uh, Danica. Hello, po. Good afternoon, po. Yes, po. Good afternoon. I'm from Adamson University, po. And what I expect from this um, training is um, mas matututunan ko pa siyang kung paano siya i-navigate. Mas, um, kasi before, nanonood lang ako sa YouTube and then ine-explore ko pa lang siya. Medyo um, parang ang hirap niyang gamitin. Parang medyo confusing pa. So, um, I hope th through this training, mas... Uh, mas mapadali pa yung paggawa ng activities para mas ma mas ma ito sa kaya ko um, ngayong semester po okay thank you very much Miss Danica actually uh, meron naman mga ano no, uh, sa mga videos sa uh, YouTube but then uh, it's good to have this kind of training also no to make it more engaging for all of us maybe we have a lot of experiences that later on we can share or my mga bloop, uh, mga bloopers no or mga uh, experiences na medyo nakakatawa later on sa paggamit ng ating my dispense okay uh, let's move on to uh, sir ayan just introduce yourself because later on you will have a role later yes spot sir ayan so good afternoon po sa lahat um, am i audible Yes po. So good afternoon po sa lahat. My name po is Ian Ace Pacquiao. I'm one of the members of the faculty of San Pedro College. Um, good afternoon po to all the faculty and the deans who are present here. So basically, ano, meron po akong isi-share tungkol sa experience ko po with my dispense later in response to the subjects that I am teaching right now. Because actually, si my dispense sa tinuturo ko ng mga subjects is actually malayo siya konti because I'm currently exploring its capacity to be used in cases of legal pharmacy and in pharmacy informatics. So hopefully I'll be able to share something na ano, um, we could all learn from the experiences that I had with regards to my dispense. So um, thank you, Sir Faliar, for this opportunity to join this seminar. Okay, thank you, Ayan. Okay, Sir Ayan, uh, let's move on to Dean May. Just uh, an introduction. Para di, hindi masyado seryoso ang ang peg nito. <laughs> okay, yes, Padin. Hello, good afternoon to our deep colleagues in the pharmacy education. Um, I know we are all pressed and compressed in the delivery of our online instruction. Agree? Agree ba kayo? Though I cannot see you, but I can see your photos. So majority of those who are here, Doc Irwin, are very young, dynamic educators, which are potentials really as we cascade and optimize the use of my dispense. So masabi ko lang, um, we in the, San the Department of Pharmacy in San Pedro College, 
was able to really some sort of maximize the use of my dispense already in just a short span of time. And we are really eager to share to you through Doc Irwin, who will be giving you the discussions on the technical, especially as the focal person of my dispense in the Philippines. So that, ang goal naman natin, di ba, Doc Irwin, Dean Perley, is to really see to it that we can really maximize and optimize the use of my dispense, especially that we are in our blended, flexible, and online classes. And hopefully this can help us. Um, I see Ma'am Roda of St. Louis. Hi, Ms. Roda. Um, um, that we can use this to answer the need for um, pre-training of our interns, especially that we cannot promise to have community internship next year and let us be... Um, let us recognize that next year is already the internship year. <laughs> so, yeah. what do we do? No? So, this one, I mean, if we try to integrate it in our classes today, it would be much easier for our students to transition to virtual online internships because there are available preparations for that too. So, yun yun, enjoy natin. Yes, uh, Dean Francis is also here of UP. Uh, wala tayo magawa today. We are restricted, but does that mean that we will also be um, restricting ourselves to innovation? So, this is an innovation. Actually, dili na ganit ni. Ah, this is not already an innovation, Doc Irwin. No? This has been going on for quite some time already. But in the Philippines, we are trying to cope and thus we have to embrace technology such as this one. So I wish you well, um, young educators. Let us all enjoy and have fun this afternoon. Okay, thank you very much, Dean. Uh, let's proceed to, uh, Sir. I think, Sir Jose uh, Gerardo. Yes. Uh, I just want to meet and see you because uh, I think this is uh, the user's den of my dispense. Yes, Pa? Uh, actually, uh, for me, what is important here is for the students to appreciate it. And because of this... Yes, Pa, Sir Jose? Because of these COVID restrictions, okay, and I want them to feel na parang hindi siya comparable with the actual face-to-face -face or actual pharmacy dispensing practices or hospital dispensing practices. Okay? But I want them to feel na parang ando na sila. Yes po. Okay, yun lang. Kaya that's why I want to uh, learn more of the shortcuts, techniques, etc. Okay, so thank you very much, Sir Jose. Actually, that's uh, the virtual becomes a reality for them when they go into practice. Uh, it's basically um, would be no, sana nga that would be the same thing that we are. Well, but or else it will actually advance the practice also in the pharmacy here in the Philippines. The through the my dispense also. No? Uh, let's move on to Mary. I think Mary Jane, are, are you already kanina or? You want to share something? Or before that, uh, let's move on to uh, Angeli and Sir Oli. Yes, Pa and Mom Angeli. Hello, Pa. Good afternoon. Uh, for my dispense, so gusto ko po matuto kung paano po siya igawin, especially I am teaching dispensing one, para po effectively na magawa namin yung mga activities ng mga estudyante and to prepare them po for their um, next subjects, dispensing two and other related subjects po dito, and in preparation na rin po for the for their community, for their internships in the future. Thank you very much po, Doc, for, Thank ano you. Po, for Thank accepting you very much our invites. Okay, thank you very much also for the invitation. I think that's a, a leap for all of us no, in terms of the virtual since this is a new normal. Okay, uh, let's move on to, yes, uh, Sir, uh, Sir uh, Dr. Capule. 
Dr. Francis? Yes po. Uh, hello, Dr. Erwin, our hello teacher po, Doc. for this training <laughs> and uh, other participants. Uh, first of all, I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the organizers of the SPC and Adamson University for this kind of uh, training. Uh, we acquired the, the application maybe a year. I have a team for this. Actually, uh, my team is still in exploratory phase, like uh, what uh, other schools are doing, I think. So uh, for the expectation setting, I, I expect, I agree with Dean Tesoro that uh, I expect to learn how to maximize and optimize this uh, application, especially in this period that we are uh, conducting a remote learning. And in addition, we are preparing for the community pharmacy internship. So again, so thank you very much for this kind of treat. Okay, thank you very much, Doc. I think Miss um, uh, Katrina also is here. Uh, Ma'am Katrina, are you there? Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. Yes. Hello, Paul again. For my expectation, but I have mentioned for earlier that I expect for to learn how to use my dispense for okay thank you yeah, very much you, yeah thank you for i think uh si dean dito dean pearly he wants still to introduce <laughs> i think she already you know <laughs> been introduced a while ago hi dean Okay, Dr. Fadler, again, uh, thank you in behalf of uh, Adamson University. would like to thank you for accepting our invitation. It's our first time to use uh, the My Dispense in Adamson University. We just coordinated with them uh, during the summer period for the preparation of the first semester. Although there are uh, queries from the faculty that they cannot I, I am asking them are you ready to train other mm -hmm. faculty regarding the my dispense they said they cannot so that's why we opted to of course to invite expert uh in this uh, sign in this uh, simulation laboratory so in in with, in coordination with Ma'am Fatima, Ma'am Din Tesoro. So we, we've talked last uh, week uh, because initially we planned to to train all uh, members of PACOP and uh, future PACOP members. Mm -hmm. But we agreed to, uh, uh, to at least uh, get the baseline yeah. of uh, uh, the knowledge of the faculty regarding my dispense and explore it later on. Uh, with other members of uh, uh, PACOP and non-PACOP and hopefully they can avail also this for free. Yes. So, so as long as they are informed, some of them are already informed, I just don't, don't know what are the challenges, uh, why they cannot still up to now uh, get the pre-subscription of this yeah. uh, uh, virtual lab. Thank you, Doc Paller. Thank, thank you, you Thank much. you, Dean. Thank you. Yes, Paul. Uh, also, uh, Sir Oli, actually, uh, is uh, one of the organizers also here. Uh, kailangan pa ba introduce? Ikaw ng MC? <laughs> okay. Hello po. Uh, yes, hello, po. Thank you po uh, for, uh, for this po. Siyempre, since you would be the one training us. I'm teaching uh, dispensing too right now. I'm using the My Dispense also. Yun nga lang po on the My Dispense. Uh, sabi ko nga lagi, pag may pakwentuhan kami, uh, kapa, kapa lang po kasi talaga yung ginagawa. Oh. <laughs> For the sake that the students will be able to uh, explore the yes, program or So yun lang po talaga nila. So thank you, Doc, for this, for sharing your knowledge and expertise with us. Para naman po, maganda po yung pagkapa namin dun sa my distance. <laughs> no worries. Uh, it's uh, sharing and caring naman. So I'm going to move on to the baka may hindi pa ako na-introduce dito a while ago and to set with the expectation. But later on, we can actually have some, um, you know, engagement later. I just want to feel the energy now. Uh, where are we now then in terms of our collaboration? Whether are we going towards the positivity or are we going then to negativity? No? 
because there are some schools actually here i was i was actually uh, feeling the energy then that uh you know majority actually doesn't actually maximize then the program and how to be able to maximize the program may man sasabi na uh, they have been used this one for a long period of time but where are they now then in terms of using it and have they maximized it to the fullest in terms of their teaching and learning and in terms of the curriculum per se it may go into the positivity then or perhaps then uh, to the negative side then of not maximize the full potential of the my respects now are we ready ready na ba tayo in terms of the workshop or do we still have a lot of jobs then aside from our you know daily routine as a teacher but then sometimes it changes the whole aspect in terms of our uh, four pillars of our jobs and responsibilities as as an academician hindi na po te uh, teaching and learning hindi na po research hindi na po more into engagement with the student but then it changes also into magluto manglaba kasi nandiyan ka na sa bahay work from home no so it really changes the whole paradigm in terms of our teaching and learning no so that is why sometimes we go into a synchronous way of teaching because our student becomes stressed similar of us it becomes a burden it becomes a stress that is why we are asking are we ready now okay so it's just a brief orientation about my dispense on the co and the concepts of learning so uh, this is actually my dispense it's been a long period of time uh, when i was in malaysia been thought of what is really my dispense uh, so it, that was a long period of time it was a different version then it was an upgraded ver version but uh, there is an upcoming another version of the my dispense so this is what what you are actually holding this kind of version is not the new version but this is actually an old version still with the my dispense so on the following months and next year there would be another version then of the my dispense what is then the the differences of that new version they be able to get a particular prescription with maybe three or four prescription at the same time and at the same time also another differences is that they be entertaining in a certain community or hospital setting from one patient to another patient to another patient so it's simultaneously because in the real scenario then this is not actually one by one that we are dealing with patient but sometimes most of the time in the community setting we entertain from one patient to another patient to another set of patients so that would be a new version then of the my dispense and my dispense was actually an old already it's been a long period of time but i don't know philippines is not adopting it maybe i saw that was in 2017 or 18 and in 2019 also there were filipinos there were trained of my dispense in malaysia uh, so far in my understanding I, when i was working still in malaysia i meet a lot of filipinos also that they said they've been using then of my dispense but where are they now then no in the picture and uh in the my dispense they have been awarded for several times it's like an oscar then uh, of reimagine education award in 2018 for life sciences and medicine award and also in e-learning award that was in 2018 it's been used throughout the globe and uh, these have been used in us in european countries and in asia in asia it's been used in uh, in chinese university in hong kong uh, it's also in monash university malaysia uh, and of course other uh, universities then no? but uh, here in the philippines uh, it's not uh, it's not actually an old one but it's a new one for 
uh, for all of us then. No? So it is actually a, a synchronous way of learning then because of this pandemic. And if you are going to have a face-to-face, -face, uh, this can be done in the laboratory or in the, in the lecture area. Uh, just bring your laptop and then you can have uh, this uh, particular setup then. So, uh, and uh, usually it's with different virtual simulation, uh, you know, they, they've, been, they've been having this kind of images that you can see with different patients and uh, different diseases. And these are based sometimes on real scenario or maybe on uh, simulated cases. And in this pandemic, it also been, uh, you know, uh, been changed also. There are some images of simulated patient that they're having a mass. You can see that one in selecting with your patient later on, we're gonna do this one wherein you can actually avail for certain patient having mass so that it will be more actual for, uh, for our students to realize that this is really also in the pandemic era, the pandemic time. No? And uh, we have been doing this in, in a long period of time in terms of asynchronous and synchronous. Uh, in San Pedro College, we have been adapting a synchronous way of teaching that was a long time, you know, it's been, I think, last few years ago, and we really stress on it during the time of an earthquake. Uh, you actually heard in the news and saw in the television that in Mindanao, we are affected at that time with crisis of earthquake. And in Davao City, we are still, we are already afraid then of having this kind of dilemma, this kind of uh, calamities. So we actually promote more of our classes of uh, a synchronous way. We upload our videos then, but we feel that this is not enough. No? We feel that we need some programs that will help us in terms of our lectures, in terms of our laboratories then, to make them realize of what is going on in the hospital or in the community setting. So we've done that one no? in terms of, but then we want to have a program that will satisfy us in terms of the, this pharmacy setting. Now, we have been looking into some blended learning and the blended learning focus on the four uh, key, key areas no? in terms of blended learning. One of it is actually connecting it with a patient. One of you actually mentioned about how it is then that they feel that this is actually a reality. How we be able to connect our students then and explain to them the different tasks that this is actually the mode then of a pharmacy setting. Because of course, in this pandemic, they, they are not allowed then to go into the community or in the hospital setting. Another one would be in terms of clarification. And in a clarification, you'll be able to have an abrupt in terms of response, the answers that you want to actually give immediately. Because a student, most of the time, they are really demanding. And sometimes they have different misconceptions and clarifications with regards to your, uh, your laboratory or perhaps your lecture then. And most of the time, they need to have, no, most of the students in this new gener generation, they need to have some emotional support at the same time also that they need to affirm and reaffirm of what you are teaching and what are the answers then of your probable laboratory. Another one would be in terms of collaboration. They'd be able to collaborate then virtually now with regards to different exercises they be grouped together into the similar cases and they be able to solve it whether it is more on drug related problems whether in some clinical pharmacy setting or perhaps then to different projects that can be used then for the my dispense. even the utilization of it in terms of jurisprudence the laws pharmacy law subjects 
or even pharmacoinformatics or other group and and you're able to give them feedback then immediately no to the to the students and most of the very important then of blended learning are more into the development of their critical thinking and this is what my dispense is actually going into the development of the critical thinking and building concepts then in terms of you no know, in the hospital setting or in the community setting so we have actually done this in terms of presenting it into a case analysis in the my dispense and they've been tackling it through their uh, through their cases and they have post laboratory uh, to dissect then of the probable answers and build their critical thinking then of the different tutorials that we give to our students. So these are the testimonies uh, in my side then on how we actually use. Uh, and we also invited simulated patients wherein it is out of the, our classmate or of uh, the classmates that they have or even the students in terms of putting into a certain case. So there is actually some simulated patients that we have invited during the process to supplement them in terms of our my dispense on probability of the same uh, same uh, cases wherein they be able to ask patient on some of the drug related problems. And this is actually a challenge of all of us. It's all about connectivity here in the Philippines that is why some most of the time we try to off our camera because of the data because of connections and this is what i have told you a while ago about blended learning connectivity engagement and in the my dispense even though that you have a low bandwidth even though you the, the student actually uses uh you know a, a particular data from a cell phone or a mobile phone they can even use also my dispense some of my students they even use their mobile phone just to actually use also my dispense okay so uh, this is actually what we are giving towards of the problems and possible solutions that we have and to think of it in terms of it can also be going into low immediacy and high immediacy so meaning if you want to pass this uh, particular exercise immediately on the next day. And in my experience, I usually move it into one week to submit, to have the tutorial first before a certain assessment will be done on a par particular practicals, okay? Uh, and this is what we have research on to our students. We have conducted several researches on my dispense. And one of it is on the perspective and competency of pharmacy students using my dispense virtual simulation this is on progress for publication and we have found out that most of the students actually have four to six prescriptions that they have done in terms of tutorial you know, moving back and forth of the tutorial that they have so that it will enhance their competency some of them maybe 10 to 12 times in terms of repeating the particular prescription just to make it familiarize and to enhance their competency of it and some of it perhaps on 13 and above so the connection is quite very crucial then in terms of the using of the my dispense most of the students are actually using wi-fi no or maybe perhaps a mobile data and some of them just shared from their neighbor similar with me when i'm actually in the house i usually also shared with my neighbor okay because of some uh, internet connection problem in our place so things must be considered then in terms of the use of my dispense and of course some of our research then that we have conducted that based on the competency standard that we have here in the philippines and in connection with the my dispense it was found out that 
most of them really agree that the Midas pens help them in terms of rationalizing the safe, effective, appropriate dispensing procedure. And most of them realize and appreciate then that my dispense really have excessive, uh, have appreciated and helped them in terms of a certain excessive supply, fraudulent prescription, and insufficient or apparent non adherence of a certain patient. They realize it. And most of our students also realize and appreciate that they, it really helped them to rectify immediate dispensing errors. And most of it realize also and help them to complete the dispensing process as what mentioned a while ago as one of the expectation in a very timely manner. So if there is no reason then that we cannot adopt my dispense because in our research, it really found out a significant impact then to our uh, students. And the, as we all know in the concepts of learning in relation to my dispense, usually there should be an involvement. Involvement of our student then on how they participate. It may be in this time of pandemic would be virtual then to make it more active in terms of their role no, as uh, supposed to be, soon to be, no, pharmacists or pharmacist student. And of course, partnership between the collaborator and the virtual simulator, meaning you as the one that using no, and promoting with a smile dispense. And usually student partnership is very important when you actually use my dispense because this is more on what you have in your in our curriculum then and in partnership of what the student need at the same time their connectivity and how they be able to engage to one another and this is what we are giving towards when we apply then with online learning aside from appreciating it is to impose to them a self-directed learning so we are not always there to to give feedback and to give them, spoon feed them. This is not the, the time. It actually unleashed the full potential to be given to our student for self-directions, okay? And of course, now we're going to familiarize them in terms of the My Dispense interface, okay? Before we're going to go on to our workshop. So let me share the Adamson University my dispense okay so i hope you are still there uh, maybe some of you are still cooking or maybe eating at the same time don't worry okay uh we are going towards our workshop and our uh, more on engagement here can you go to your my dispense adamson Okay, so in our My Dispense, I'm going to use actually uh, My Dispense from Adamson. Thank you very much for allowing me to be an administrator. And then I'm going to use also the SPC uh, My Dispense also no, for some of the assessment and some of the programs that we have. So you are enrolled actually as an instructor. So kindly go to the to your right side, and into your right side you have your name, and in your name you actually go to the student view. Okay, kindly go to your student view, and then you can actually see this different programs. Okay, so in this particular units that we have in our interface, kindly click towards your my dispense training okay this is actually the student view there are student view there is also a faculty view later on we will go from faculty from student to a faculty view okay so let, let's go first okay let's go first to our uh, view tutorial Okay, if you are an uh, administrator also, 
kindly go to your uh, to your right side and you can see your name in when you click your name then you can see also whether you are an administrator or a student student view or an administrator so you go to your student view and don't forget to click the my dispense training view tutorial you can see this particular interface and let's go on to our training. Please do click first the demo training and click demo number one. I hope everyone actually follow me because I cannot see you. If you want to open your camera, much better so that I can feel you, I can engage more to you. I can see your facial expression also. Okay, or particular beauty. <laughs> okay, so let's go on to our uh, demo number one. Please do hold me. Please do stop me if ever that you are lost along the way because I cannot see you. Okay, so please do actually click demo number one. Okay, don't be stressed. Just hold on. Okay, we are going towards our demo number one. Okay, in demo number one, you can see already your case. This is actually in relation to clinical pharmacy also. For those teaching clinical pharmacy, uh, usually when you do OSCE, you have in your door the particular patient case. So this is actually our case. So I'm going to read, Mr. Tarantino had, has just returned from taking his son to the pediatrician and bring to you a prescription to be filled. Okay, so, and you can see also the exercise number, the particular, uh, uh, particular case. You can also see, okay, you can also see the, uh, the, the interface of that and you can click okay. Once you click okay, you can see the interface then of a particular case. So let's move along to the different features of my dispense. So you can see a simulated here, the botica. You can see also, okay, I'm going to move on to the different features. So if you click on this kind of button, uh, dito po, nakita nyo ba sa pinakadulo? Okay, sa pinakadulo, try to follow me. You can see here the patient note. When I click the patient note, don't click the X button here because you're going to go out from, the, from your case. So you just click first the notes. You can see here in the notes, uh, the, you know, it's empty here. You can write actually your, if you are teaching uh, dispensing or you're teaching actually uh, different subjects that relate on uh, the, the like, like a pharmacist note. You can see here, like for example, uh, pharmacist note. You can you can type on it, okay? And the pharmacist note, you will say uh, you can uh, remove or uh, have this inter intervention given on. Uh, you can type on that, okay? For the pharmacist note. Okay, what would be your intervention that is given for this particular patient? So you can type on that. Okay, so I'm going to minimize it first. Next one would be your references. You can see a, like a book here with uh, you know, a magnifying lens. So that would be your references. So here there is actually no references. Uh, in your program, you can actually tell Mr. K to actually add up your different uh, different reference here. In our program in SPC, we have put no, into a different references. Who will put this one? Uh, you as a virtual simulation lead, you as a coordinator for the My Dispense, you are the one who will communicate then to add up a particular reference here. No? It's either means, drugs.com, or some of the legit uh, references that you have. Okay? So if you have 
like for example, uh, you know, um, programs, the software, like for example, lexicon, in etc. You can put that one there. No, just tell uh, because I already requested to have lexicon, but uh, we are not authorized. The pro the particular software is only licensed to Monash University, so you, they cannot share that one to us. So maybe we can have the free programs. You can have memes. You can also so just tell uh, Kate with that if you want to put uh, a certain uh, references. Another one would be in terms of the uh, patient pack finding. Usually this is the part wherein we ask questions. We do counseling to our patient and maybe some attachments. Okay, so that one. Okay, I'm going to have pack finding. So in the fact finding, you can actually say, uh, you can stress out the different factors, no? the different demographics of your patient, age, alcohol consumption, allergies, breastfeeding, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So, sir, are you going to click all of it? No. It depends upon what particular uh, you know, profile are you looking at with your patient. Okay? And we have also patient question. If maybe yeah. your uh, your simulated patient is having some questions, so you 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 click ask there. And another one at the very end, we have also the counseling. So you just type like example, uh, take one tablet three times a day. So that one. So you you be able to counsel and you be able to click this counsel and this will be sent. To your patient later on we're gonna demonstrate but just look at the features first and of course the attachment uh, see, some attachment can be uh, gearing towards like uh, if there are medication review that you want or maybe laboratory values that are needed here or perhaps also other uh, attachments of your patient like for example uh, the picture of a pill or a tablet or a capsule or a picture of a particular uh, a particular swelling or edema a picture of a particular you no know, laboratory values so it depends upon your attachment okay so uh, i hope you are not lost along the way remember we are still in demo number 1 we are we are having our features here okay another one would be Okay, let's move along. Okay, so let's X, X muna natin ito. Okay, let's move along to another feature sa baba. Let's have our, okay, uh, yes. Let's have our dial here. Please remember, do not, uh, do not press X or else you'll be lost no, along the way. <laughs> Okay, so you can see here the different patient, the different doctors. The, the different doctors are the one that pedi uh, makol ng mga ng mga estudiante natin. They, they will answer. Okay, so virtually they will answer. Okay, but in this case there are no voicemail. Usually these are actually coming from the doctor. Okay, so uh, that one. So I cannot actually. Here, there's no available voicemail here in this particular uh, particular case, but you can actually put also. You can have your voicemail. No, uh, you just put it in your uh, in a Zoom the audio, and then voila, you you can incorporate that one. A uh, link where you can see that. Okay, so this is a voicemail, meaning it's very interactive. That the doctor uh, tried to mention about what the case of a certain patient. Another one would be bench top. This is a labeling area for all of us. And uh, this is actually for barcoded for patient safety. And you can see also the different labels uh, and how we'll be able to put the labels into the uh, tablets. Or no, that, not the tablet, but it's actually the container. Okay, another one would be the screen. So you can just type the, the particular uh, name of the patient, and voila, you can make your own, uh, the, you can actually search on the patient profile and others. Later, I'm going to demonstrate it one by one. 
Another one is the prescription. Okay, this is usually very important. Some of the cases don't have prescriptions. It's been hidden already. Okay, you can see also the different uh, parts of the prescription. Uh, you can actually modify this one. Uh, you can modify it. It's not in California because the student will not integrate it that it will be in California. But we usually put it like Davao City. You can modify it. Uh, it depends on how you, uh, you communicate then with Monash uh, support team with regards to your program. And uh, we have done that one in San Pedro that we put it as Davao City. Okay, and we put the name also of our, of our institution also there. Okay, and in, in, the, in the very end side, you can also see, okay, I'm going to, okay. So you can also see the, okay, the items available. It's like Salora, how many tablets or how many, uh, you know, suspension you ordered and all. So this is a, a, a similarities with Salora and also the label, okay, the label here. But we don't have an item yet, okay? So I think we are all ready to use with our my dispense. So just uh, reiteration first. Okay. Any question before we proceed? Meron bang mga questions? Okay. So first of all, uh, when we back to our very elementary and very basic in terms of dispensing process, first of all, you'll be able to look at the prescription first. Analyze, validate the prescription. So nandito po ang prescription na binigay ng pasyente. It's nearby your patient. You can see there, prescription. Just click it. Voila, you have your prescription. Or another one would be your, it can be also at the features, the icons there. At the very end, you can see also here, the prescription. Okay, so you can see here uh, the prescription. Okay, there's actually a question in the chat box. Just want to entertain, sir, to clarify po, in order to include the references, we must contact the support team at the moment. Yes, you need to contact uh, the support team then uh, with regards to your program, what are some of your modifications you want uh, so that they be able to integrate then uh, to your program. We have done that one and I'm going to show to you later on uh, what we have some modif modifications in our, uh, in our program. Okay, uh, so first of all, uh, we need to validate then the prescription. You have already saw that this is a prescription for uh, Angelo Tarantino, uh, the child of Mr. Tarantino, and uh, the age is four, and this is the medication, secular suspension, one to five milligram per five ml, 100 ml syrup. And this is actually also the Cigna that was given the quantity and the repetition or the refill of the, the prescription. Now, we move on first to our system. So we have the screen, the dispensing screen, and we need to go into our enter the patient name to start. So I'm going to click here. I hope no one is actually left behind. Okay, I hope we attain the sustainable development goals here. No one is left behind. Should be inclusive to all. Tarantino. Okay? Hindi siya taranta. Tarantino po siya. Tarantino. Sino si Tarantino? Si Isabella. Maraming pasyente here. So similar in our practice, I hope this will be in our community setting also, right? So I hope we change the landscape of our practice. So this is Mr. Angelo. And with Mr. Angelo, you can see already that is already integrated to my label here, Angelo Tarantino. I'm going to select the date now. Okay, this is October 17. And voila, you have the date in your uh, label. Another one would be the prescriber. Who is the prescriber? Let's go back. Because sometimes nakakalimutan. Si Mr. Roger Lamont. Okay, si Mr. Roger. Then we'll be able to Roger. Okay, and click enter. So once you enter, you have the name of the 
prescriber and enter enter once you enter it then the registration number sa atin pa yan ng PRC number ng dona po and saka ng DEA ng ating uh, shall we say ang ating uh, dangerous drug S2 license of a particular doctor nandoon na okay ever that is but it's automatic that it's been put there the DEA number the drug enforcement agency number then it's already put there no so we cannot argue with that now we move on to the drug so take note uh, when you have your prescription uh, you'll be able to actually identify you can actually freeze the prescription here no pwede mo siya i-freeze meron tayong icon diyan you can lock it para hindi niya siya mag-move or mawala no so that sometimes sa kakalimutan mo okay there are different features for that so the main drug will be seclor suspension so i'm going to put there seclor enter and voila you have your uh, drug okay remember this is suspension right so i'm going to put here suspension remember this is not an argumentation whether it's generic or branded we are just demonstrating here first okay i know that the laws uh, in the land that will correspond to generic and branded so it depends on how we modify it later and then in the secular suspension you have direction so shall we say based on the the particular prescription shall we say okay because you need to really to compute it we need really to analyze it based on your analysis maybe you would say okay so like for example example only uh, we may say okay take one uh, take uh, shall we say 5 ml okay okay by mouth okay for every like for example every 12 hours shall we say okay 12, 12 hours for 10 days no? example okay so automatically you can see in the dispensing area in the labeling area you can see that automatically and refill uh, here based on the prescription there is no refill okay there's no refill uh, i think this must be included in our prescription here in the philippines if we are going to refill or not have you noticed just to add up in the landscape of our pharmacy education and in the practice in the philippines in terms of prescription parang wala tayong significant role in terms of our prescription no? because we are not there even in the prescription have you seen any pharmacists there having initials and all the bawala so i think that's one of it at the same time also nandun lang sa, sa, you know, sa, at the side lang and then we try to sign it and all i don't know i think we need to change that as part of our practice quantity then uh, i think the quantity here is one okay uh, as our 100 ml okay we we'll just put one shall we say and we try to um, EMF here as an Erwin Martinez Falier in the pharmacist initial. You can also make your own initials if you want. And then here in the dispensing record, I think this is the first time where in it uh, it bought something in your boutique. Wala pa siya record. Wala pa siyang record. So we cannot see the patient note. There's no note from the patient. There's no drug details even here. Here, not looking at the record here. But of course, uh, the show must go on. <laughs> no? uh, here, we will be able to have a uh, label manager. You can see, uh, you, cannot, you, can, you can see that one yet. But then, uh, based on our uh, basin here, okay, so we go on to our print label. Print label, you can see already that it's already integrated into the system. So that would be your label. So you already have your label, you have already uh, incorporated it into your system and all. Then we move on to the next. What's next? We'll be able to have your drug. We'll be able to search your drug. So in searching with your drug, you just have this, this particular uh, button here. The arrow going to that side. Okay, going to that side. 
into your uh, right side. You can see here at your right side, the different drugs. This is more into prescription shelves that doesn't need to, uh, to be refrigerated. And another one is your prescription fridge. And where is the other one? The other one is actually at your sakaban ng bayan. Okay? Nandito po siya sa kanyang vault. Okay? So, shall na may vault na sila. So, that it will be safe here. So, this is actually more into your dangerous drug. But where is your over-the-counter drug? Let's go first to, that, to the left side. You can see here the different drugs. You can see also here the, o, the OTC, over-the-counter medication. You can see also UTC. What is that UTC? In other country, like in Australia, they have under the counter. Okay, sa, to, sa atin pa yan, yung, yung mga things that are put into our, you know, mga gondola sa baba. Okay? So, UTC. But we don't have that one in the feedback. Ibang words niyan. Okay? So, let's go and find our seclorn here. This is a prescription drug. So, we'll be able to uh, search it in a prescription shelf. Click natin. Enter. Click. And then, you can see the different drugs here. Okay, and we can see, let's go to the alphabetical, let's go to letter C, and voila, you have the different C. And then you can actually press the arrow side, going to that side, just to identify where is our seclor. So seclor here, okay, so seclor tablet, and we, voila, you have your seclor suspension. So click here. Once you click that, you'll be able to add, like in Salora or in other uh, online, Shopee and all. No? So you'll be able to add. I hope everyone actually goes simultaneously with this. Okay? Uh, but you, if you are lost later on, we will still have our tutorial. Now, please do add up. Okay? Add up. Then once you add up, it goes, remember, uh, in our uh, in our corner, parang yung bottle, zero siya kanina, ngayon one na. Meaning, it's already add up to our card for order. Okay? So, we already selected. Let's go to our main screen. Okay? So, we go to our main screen. And then, we go to our labeling area. Once we already click our labeling, our bench top, you can click from this side. You can also click from this uh, here. Bench top basket. Okay? Para siyang barcode. You can click on that. You can click also the feature icons. So once we click the bench top, you can see the labeling. And you can see also our medicine here, our label. So what we're going to do is that we're going to click this. Seclor suspension label. One click. Back. Click. Again, one click, tap, and then put it into our medicine. Click, click. And what we have, we go to that particular side. Again, okay, again. So we have our, so we, we actually push it to our, uh, for our drug. And once we already have our drug, then we'll be able to have our Okay, okay, let's, uh, okay, so let's go back so that everyone actually in the same phase. Once we click, one click, one click, click, and then we actually put it into our drug, click, and then voila, you have your label placement. Once we are already going to go into your label placement, you'll be able to put it in a correct area. Remember, it should, not, it should not cover. So you can actually click it, click it, and upside down, right? So similar as what you are labeling. Click here. You can even put it a small one. You can even put it like this, like ophthalmic solutions and some of the very tiny, like syringe and all. You can have it, or you can have it as a full. So, 
it's quite fun no, for the student to learn. Okay? And once you already done, you'll be able to stick label. Okay? So for so this is one of the barriers later on. Marami po tayong gagawin. Don't worry with that. I think students will really enjoy what they gonna do, no? So don't worry with that. Especially if you are not techy savvy, don't worry. The students are techy savvy, they will love it, no? Uh, please do click stick label. Once you have the stick label ready, then you'll be able to have your auxiliary label. So, ano po yung sa ating suspension, di ba? Shake well before using. Okay, we're going to uh, press once, pack, and then we put it into our, uh, uh, into our medicine, pack. No? So, it's already there. One click away. And we have another one, do not freeze. Click, one click, pack. You will have another one, one click. Then, voila, you have another one. Okay, so you'll be able to choose the auxiliary label, which often time in the Philippines, we don't actually use it. Okay, so we need to change the landscape of our practice. Okay, another one would be in terms of safety. And as we all know, based on the research and studies, barcoding is one of our uh, patient safety uh, requirements then for any of whether it's a hospital or community setting. Uh, this is a little bit tedious. Please do listen to me. So we're going to have a, a one click with this label here, okay, into our barcode scanner. One click, please do click, click, and it's been highlighted. And then don't forget to click, one click again to our barcode scanner. One click, please do click, click, and then voila, you can see that it's following me, the barcode here, and voila, you can actually click onto your medicine and once you click it you have already it's actually correct so meaning it really emphasizes to the student that this is actually for them to have a correct medication there's no ro room already to have a mistake for a certain medication so do not again take note do not click the okay because once you click the okay so once i click the okay so what will happen? It will be lost. Okay? So do not click the OK button. Again, one click here, then click from your barcode, and then voila, you have your uh, one click here, and this is actually good. Do not click the OK here. So let's move on to the patient counseling part. Okay? So remember, uh, this is along the process. Once you receive the prescription, you'll be able to ask your patient on some of the questions before you will go to your labeling, before anything else. Okay, so please take note with that. So shall we say you receive the prescription and voila, you have the, this interview with your patient. Let's move on to the fact finding. So what are the probable questions that you need to ask? So the student will be able to be more critical then of the particular question to be asked. So these are the following then. Okay, I'm just messaging Mom to, uh, Mom Angeli to have a documentation of pictures of me uh, because I'm very particular with documentations. <laughs> okay, so uh, don't forget Mom Angeli to take a picture of me. Uh, while we are doing our uh, doing our trainings here, okay. Noted. Po. Thank you very much. Okay. So, what are some of the one of one? What some of the questions that we need to ask? The age, yeah. So, when you ask, you ask about the age of the patient. So, what the answer is that my son is four years old. But, uh, but we all take note that in the prescription. Meron na doon sa prescription, di ba? So, ganun, bakit i-ask pa natin ang patient just to validate it? Okay, cross-validate if it is uh, correct or not. Another one, alcohol consumption. Pwede ba? Bata pa man siya, four years old. I think, okay, click lang natin ha, for the sake of learning lang. Alcohol consumption. Snabera ang patient natin. Bakit? 
Sabi niya, I don't know why you're asking me that. My son is only four years old. Da, no? So meaning, napagalitan ka pa ng pasyente mo kasi nag-ask ka niyan. Di ba? Virtually engaging siya masyado. Allergies. Angelo has no allergy. Correct? Yeah. Breastfeeding, shall we say. Breastfeeding ba si ano? Four years old pa man siya. I don't know why you're asking me about breastfeeding. Napagalitan na naman siya. Okay? Hospital admission. Sometimes they say no. Or I don't know. No? So sometimes ganon. But which is actually actual for our patient. Not all of it. No? In handling different kinds of patients. Di ba nandun yan sa dispensing number one? The principles of handling different sets of patients. Why don't, why you answer, my son is four years old, okay, and others. So, there are particular questions that need to be, when they click, not all of these features need to be asked with a patient. So, meaning the, the, the student will be critically will be able to ask a particular specific questions then for the patient. Symptoms, the weight then, etc., etc., will be asked. Okay, so we say you have already asked all of it, in, in all of it, no? then you'll be able to have patient question. You have already exhausted every question in your fact finding. Now it's time for the patient to ask, is there any concern? Di ba sa clinical pharmacy or sa dispensing natin? Kinituruan natin ang, ang ating sudyante, ma'am, meron po kayong mga concerns or may other concerns pa po kayo? Sir, no, with a smile. So you'll be able to ask the patient. Now, once you ask the patient, do you have any question? Uh, can I take my Tylenol, uh, San Tylenol, or uh, shall we say with, uh, with this uh, drug while on this medication to help his fever? Then the, then the particular student will answer, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Uh, you can, uh, you can take the, the patient, your son can take Tylenol, okay, and etc., etc. Then you'll be able to reply. So it's really engaging. No? And maybe meron pa siyang i-ask. Sige, no? i-ask pa niya. So what would happen? There are other questions. Then the student will be able to answer, answer it. Okay? And etc., etc. Until it will exhaust the particular, uh, 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 particular question by the patient. Another one would be counseling. This counseling must be done after you have already no, uh, done everything. Okay, later on, we will go back to the counseling part. Okay, so let's move on to our next. After we have already done the label and we secure that this is uh, pa for patient safety and all, then sometimes along the way of our fact-finding mission, sometimes there are voicemail by our doctors. So you'll be able to contact the doctor sometimes to verify when you do fact finding. Okay? Along the way. Before you will go to your labeling, etc., etc. Okay? So that one. Uh, and then uh, after which you may, sometimes a student need to go to the references to validate them if it is correct no, in terms of the particular prescription. Okay, so you can use, you, they, the student can use also the references. Okay, so ganun po. So all of it are, or the patient, if you require them as part of your marking or grade to put into the professional note of any intervention done during the process. Now we move on to our, after we have already done, let's click on this uh, inventory. Okay. You can see, nandun ang ating drug. Nandun na din ang ating label din. Okay? Nandun na lahat. So it's time for us to actually dispense our medication. Okay? So, okay. So let's go on. Here you, in this side, in the, in the fact-finding area, you can see that in the, in the right side, you can see the handover and do not dispense a picture here. So if you're going to hand over, meaning that you'll be able to actually give the particular medication to your patient. But there are some 
particular condition or area we're in, you, you don't actually give a certain medication, but only counseling. There's no medication. You may actually have non-pharmacological uh, response to your patient then, non-pharmacologically then, no, counseling to your patient, it, ma it can also be. Okay? Or an analysis of a particular attachment here for bio biochemical values and all. Even biochemistry can also do this no? for this particular, uh, particular scenario. So now, we're going to hand over the drug. Okay? Uh, then, you'll be able to counsel. Take one tablet three times a day, a day, blah, 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 adherence, uh, and all, etc., etc. Okay? You have already put that. Then, you'll be able to hand over the drug. So once you hand over the drug, you can see there, every label is already there, and you'll be able to finish. Okay? Finish na. So you can see exercise has been complete. Your progress has been recorded. Okay? And you'll be able to exit. Now, we already run through already with all of our, uh, with our demo. Now, have you noticed something with this? What have you noticed? From blue, it becomes green. Okay? The color actually changes or highlighted here. And it puts actually a check mark. What is the meaning of that? Meaning that it is actually done. It is already done. So what we're going to do is that we'll be able to click this. Just click. And then voila, you have the particular response then whether your intervention or your case is actually been done correctly. So you can see here the customer, Tarantino, the outcome then mentioned, well done, dispensing this prescription was correct decision. So it's correct to dispense with this. And then you have your label, the one that I have done, and the one that is correct label. So I've seen here, ah, uh, one, five ml, so one teaspoon, that was actually correct. Uh, it was also mentioned here in the correct one, uh, yeah, most of it are correct. My label is correct, but I'm lacking of one ancillary label or auxiliary label here, okay, for antibiotic. Seclor, refrigerate, uh, antibiotic should be taken in a full course and all medicine until complete. So I have uh, wrongly put that. No? Another thing is that I have assessed that my label is actually a little bit wrong no? because it is in the side, not actually at the center. Wherein you can see there, the parang mayroon siyang mga bar there of red. Yan po ang mga area na hindi dapat na lagyan ng particular label. Another one would be in terms of patient note. Okay? Counseling label note. Okay? And of course, professional note. And at the same time also, the fact finding. So what are those that need to be asked then? The age. Okay? When you ask about alcohol consumption, it is inappropriate question. Allergy is required based upon your marking and, of course, other. Even the weight is required also to calculate for a certain dose for a pediatric patient. Okay? So these are the following. Now, uh, this is how we be able to do it then, no? in terms of our medication. Now, uh, do you have any question then? It's time for you to ask question with regards to the demonstration. Sir Irwin, a uh, question po? Yes po. After selecting a uh, seclor, uh, there is no printed label. So that's why hindi ko na po siya nasundan, sir. Ah, okay. So yun po. Uh, with regards to the print uh, printed label, let's go back. And... The student, remember, can actually, okay, 
go on with at uh, the very bottom of it, uh, the, the particular student can actually export it into a PDF or they can actually reset the exercise. Okay, so once I reset the exercise, then you can see the color here of your demo, it returns back to its original color. So, and then the student can actually go back again. Okay, go back again to the the pr very first thing okay uh, so yes, yes, yes Paul. i was not able to complete the the whole uh, demo number one yes and hindi ko nakikita, sir yung exit exercise ah uh, exit exercise is it this one ito po na corner i'm, I'm seeing it po. okay uh, do not actually click the exit exercise uh, when you do your uh, no, do the process because this exit exercise pag exit ko mawala lahat no do you want to save your progress and all no but uh, i think it's already been saved then your exercise pag uh, save mo then you will actually go back to your original but then i think your question regarding the label labeling part san po sir doc ano um which one do you, is confusing for you uh, with regards to the labeling part. Uh, let's go to the uh, labeling. Yes, sir. Uh, iba po nakapag-select tayo ng seclor. So, nag-appear yes, po. po yung uh, picture under medicines. Yes, po. Dito po sa medicine and then uh, we have the letter C and then we actually have the uh, drug. Okay, na-click po, na-add na natin and then we go back again to our uh, bench top, nandyan na. Pero ang problema, we don't have a label so we need to have a label first. Uh, may label na po kayo? Sir? Yes, sir, ang wala. So, okay. hindi siya automatic. Uh, hindi po siya automatic. You need really to uh, go on to the process po. So, uh, after you've already done uh, getting it from the from your shelf, then you need to go on to the bench top. Doon po sa dispense screen so dispense screen you can see enter name so you just click tarantino okay tarantino click it and then you can see the different patient this is angelo okay so angelo from angelo then you can select the date you can have your prescriber roger and then once you click roger that will identify that that is the prescriber. Then you can enter the name of a drug, seclor. So parang nandun lang, nandun lang sa butika. It's like, uh, you know, parang sa hospital pharmacy then, no, application. And then you can have your direction. Like example, take one, uh, like take 5 ml every 12 hours uh, for 10 days, shall we say. And we fill zero, uh, quantity one, maybe uh, this will be my, okay? And then print label. Once you have already printed the label, you just go back to your bench top. You have already the print label. And then from the print label, this is a little bit, uh, you know, madug madugo na part uh, because there are a lot of click, click, click here, no? But it's all are automat automatic. Uh, are we in the same pace, uh, Dr. Uh, Francis? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So, yes. basically, i-click mo lang siya, one click, and ilagay mo siya sa drug. And then, voila, you have the particular labeling here, uh, placement. And then, you can actually uh, stick on it, no? kung saan yung gusto, based on the guidelines. And then, stick nyo nyo lang ang label. Once you already done it, you can choose your uh, ancillary label or auxiliary label. Uh, like for example, shake well before. So one click and then click it here. One click and then click it here. No? And then uh, for our patient safety in a part, you can go to your barcode, just click it. And then once you click it once, click also the barcode uh, scanner once. You can see, meron na siya mga barcode na ano. Uh, you can click 
it to your medicine. Once you click it to your medicine, it will identify that your uh, particular drug is correct or not. Okay? So that is sir, the whole process of it. Yes? Okay, yes, sir. Uh, hindi po clickable yung label. Ah, uh, label. Uh, okay. Uh, itong label na to, okay, just to go to go back to the label, just click it once. Click it once. You can see it, will, it follows your cursor. Click it once and it will follow your cursor. And then click it to the medicine. Once you click it once to your medicine, it will actually appear like this. Then once you already done, you uh, stick the label. There is a stick label here, part, and then voila, you have your uh, drug already. Stick with the label. Uh, is it, have you follow po, Doc? Okay na ba? Uh, sir, yung color coded auxiliary label, paano po siya kiniklik? Uh, one click. click lang po. Like example, I have, like example, ha, do not crash. I just have one click similar as, as what I have done a while ago. One click lang. And then it follows you, your cursor. Then you go to your medicine. Click. You click mo lang one click. So meaning it add up. So just one click to your auxiliary label. Uh, you can find in my cursor. One click. And voila, you have one click also to your medicine and then it pays into your certain drug na po. Okay, sir. Uh, don't uh, forget don't also, forget. yes, sorry. Yung scanning na lang po, sir. Okay, scanning, you just click here, your barcode scanner, ito po, sa cursor ko. I hope it's visible. You click first the secular suspension, yung ano niya, under it's a barcode scanner. One click na naman. It is highlighted. And then another one click doon sa barcode natin. Yung parang machine gun. Okay, one click po. One click and it follows you. Once it follows you, then you go to your medicine and another one click po. And voila, you have the barcode. Please do not, do not click OK. Okay, do not click the OK bot button there. Okay, because okay, it goes sir. back again to the... No. Okay, uh, so they can also delete uh, the side of the label. If, okay, pwede naman po, no, uh, with that. Okay, uh, with fact finding po, do we already need to input all the possible questions or can they type the question that they want to ask? Yes po, it's fully automated. You just, ang trabaho lang ng ating sujante is to critically think and to click the particular button po na uh, that is actually related to a particular question nila. Okay? So yan lang po. Just, just try to, you don't need to type anything into a particular question, but just type the, your, uh, your particular uh, answer to the questions. Okay? So we already done. Uh, that part, is there any question before we proceed? Uh, this is a time for us to ask before I proceed to the next part. Sir, question po. Yes po. Um, dun po sa my auxiliary labels po, um, the um, printed labels are a little bit parang blurred po. How can the students parang know what is written dun sa mga auxiliary labels? Okay, uh, that's one of the complaints also of the student. But later on, they actually adjusted already because in a particular color, it, uh, it corresponds on a particular ano niya, auxiliary label niya doon. So as you go familiarize with it, uh, there is a highlighted term there or capitalized. Yun ang mga, ano na, ang mga sujante natin. Uh, they, they will read it one by one with the, with the labels. But... Uh, actually, that's one of the complaints that sinabi namin sa, uh, sa my dispense, but uh, they cannot actually make it bigger also. Maybe on a new version. Okay, po, sir. Thank you, Pa. Any more questions? Thank you very much, sir. May Tagalog version ba daw nito? 
uh, hopefully in the later <laughs> in the later ano I think tayo po ang gagawa niyan ng may Tagalog in the Tagalog version. Pwede din. I think that's a good suggestion. Uh, we need to be nationalistic also in our uh, program. But uh, ang question na naman yan, kung meron bang Bisaya version or may Ilonggo version ba? <laughs> Maybe we can customize it later. Uh, yeah, soon to be. Yeah, Tagalog version or local dialect. Pwede din. I, I think, I think uh, we can also put our different drugs here. We can incorporate local drugs or lo local food supplements in our, we can actually, pero when we suggested it, parang they're still hesitant to put that one. No? Uh, because there are a lot of uh, some issues with regards to different uh, branded medications. Okay, maybe generic medication by the government. Better than uh, with that. Uh, who inputs all the drugs in the pharmacy? Uh, yun po, uh, there are they are the ones from uh, from my dispense support team. Uh, they are the ones who actually put that, and it's already been installed. I think there are almost uh, six, if I'm not mistaken, 6,000 drugs that have been put there in our uh, program. Okay? So if we have a local, local drugs, uh, we can actually put that one. We, we're trying to localize it. No? Uh, you can actually put your suggestion uh, with regards to the different drugs also. We can, we can lobby it to Monash with that program. I think that's a good question. Others? Uh, may question ba? Are we all following? You can actually put a thumbs up sign if you are following. Para it's more engaging. A uh, thumbs up sign. Okay. Bakang iba natutulog na or mang iba just for a requirement kasi na push ni Dean <laughs> or maybe nagluluto pa. Okay. Yeah, Good afternoon, po, sir. Yes, po, um, Good afternoon, po. That was very clear, po. Nasundan ko po. Thank you very much, Doctor Fowler. Thank you. Um, I would like to ask, lang. I tried redoing po yung label placement Apo. doon sa ating drug. Niliitan ko po yung label kasi nung first try po natin, de ba? To mama mm. siya dun sa mga red yeah. areas. Mm, correct. And then I did it once again, just for the sake. Kung mm. mag Pa, saan ba dapat siya ilagay? And then, niliitan ko po yung pinili kong label. Hmm. Unfortunately, lagi po siyang tumatama dun sa mga uh, areas na kung saan dapat hindi yata nakastick yung label. Is that a glitch? I oh. think that's one of the glitch because uh, mm. often time we try to use it, even I, no? yung kanina nga, di ba? Nandun oh, na center na mismo, but it will always push at the side. Parang ganon. Mm -mm. I think that uh, that needs to be reported also sa support team. Kasi no one okay. actually report that. Na ganon. Uh, okay. But uh, it depends also if that will be part and parcel of your assessment. No? Uh, kasi it's unfair mm -hmm. also with a the student. They put it and then na mark as wrong siya. So yes. Yan din po yan. Uh, that's a Thank very, very good much. observation. Okay. Thank you po. Thank you. Meron pa ba? Okay, so if wala na, uh, can we still continue or still alive? <laughs> or na-drain na sa, ano, sa first part? Okay lang ba? Yes, sir. We're still fighting. <laughs> ah, okay. Sorry ha, kung medyo, medyo heavy siya. But then, I no think problem, uh, first Thank time lang po siya na heavy. But as you go along with the student, they really enjoy no, you can see the testimonies that the student having blog and all, no, uh, they're happy with the programs. Uh, then we move on to the next one. Uh, let me share my, uh, okay. So we already familiarized ourselves then with the My Dispense, uh, the features of the My Dispense. Uh, let's move along with uh, so, are, are you ready with our My Dispense use? Yes, of course. Dapat ready. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go on to the different steps uh, as a instructor. From the student view, now we move on to our instructor's view. Okay, so step number one, 
uh, we're going to develop on the unit to tutorial work. Uh, next would be development of patient case and the task for tutorial and the time bounded assessment. And we're going to move on to our assessment part, okay? And uh, the workshop later, okay? So in our, uh, in our, let me share this screen again for our, okay. So let me actually move on to our ex muna. And you go back to your instructor, similar as what we are doing. Uh, you go first to your uh, name and you can see their administrator. Okay, administrator. Once you click the administrator, you will go back to the main interface. Okay, uh, do everyone actually become admin already? Admin balahat. You can see this uh, interface natin. Uh, okay, so if you saw this one, then uh, you are in the right track. You can see here exam manager. Okay, we can actually click at the top as one of our uh, features here, exam manager. The exam manager is the number of uh, assessments that you actually conducted. And you can actually see here uh, that in Adamson, ito po yung mga exams natin. Please do not delete anything here or else I'll be scolded by Dean Pearly. <laughs> so please do not delete. Again, do not delete anything here. Okay? And you can see also manage access. The manage access is the one that you can, you can include other instructor aside from you. Okay? You can include anyone, no? Those instructors that can see your particular assessment. Okay? So that one Actually, is exam manager. Yes, for first use. Uh, upon clicking the exam manager, uh, it says no assessments were found or you do not have access to any assessments. Uh, so meaning you are an instructor. Po. Uh, maybe uh, Mom, Anjali, uh, they can actually be administrators. No? Because we will try to uh, make uh, baka hindi pa lang na ano. So, uh, you can also see your status later on as an administrator or as an instructor also. Okay? Uh, while uh, Ma'am Angel is working for that, let me actually go on to the different uh, pictures here. Uh, admin na po lahat. Pa-refresh lang po. Okay? Paki-refresh na lang po para ano. So, just refresh and go back, log in. And voila, you have your assessment already part. Okay, while we are waiting for others, just to highlight also, uh, in your, uh, if I'm going to click here, a particular, so you can see the different students submitted already their uh, scores and everything. I, I mean, their, their particular case, uh, the one that submitted and did not submit that. So it's very, very straightforward, this assessment. Later on, I'm going to tackle on that, okay? Uh, next, uh, another one would be manage access. If you actually manage access, you just add user. So if I'm going to add user, meaning you, this particular people will be added up, okay? So yon po. Let's go on to the next one, units. This is the first that you're gonna uh, do when you actually put uh, a particular case or a particular tutorial. Okay, later on, we will go into that. And then uh, you can see uh, marami din silang uh, unit here and what are the description and is it been activated. So there is an active, there's also inactive. Okay, you can see here the red uh, light here, the red uh, no, signal here, not the status. It's actually inactive, yung mga naka-red. Yung mga naka-green here, this is actually parang stoplight lang siya, no? And green is go. <laughs> okay? And you can add up also unit here. We go on to the medication, just to familiarize. 
ourselves. This has only been taught to our instructors, not for the student. The student should not have an access in all of this. Okay? So it's only for instructor lang po. Okay? So you can see also the medications here, the different medicines. You can actually add up, add medication. So if you add the medication, you can also the package and all, no, you can add up with that. Okay? Including all the details are already stressed here. So there's no problem. You can just add up. Okay? And uh, I think it, it will be approved by your administrator or by the support team also. Okay? Ganun po. So nandun po lahat. Pati categories, uh, all forms, dosage form are already been here. Okay? So yun po. Another one is mga lineup of prescriber po natin with different specialization. So meron po tayong active at saka inactive. Like for example, also it's a collaborative. You can actually use this one in your hospital pharmacy with meron tayong interdisciplinary or collaborative approach. You can actually use this one. Kasi meron tayong mga medical doctors, meron ding dentists, at iba pa. Okay? Uh, in my account, it says no assessment for fall. Just refresh lang po so that you'll be able to have the administration role lang po. Uh, refresh lang po sa system ninyo. Okay. Another one would be patient. Meron ding mga uh, line up of patient here. So these are the line of patient and also their images. You can also add up your patient. So if you want to have a model, baka malay mo si Mark, Joseph here, si Sir Lord Wynn here, si uh, Miss, uh, Ma Miss Jill would like to be a model, then you can be a model here. No? Pwede ilagay ang, ang picture ninyo. Pwede din. Okay? And all. Or you can actually select based on the categories. Uh, Multiracial po siya. And uh, you can see the different patient images. Okay? Baka malay mo, ikaw isa sa mga model dito. Uh, by the way, it was announced that they are also selecting a new model for the My Dispense. Maybe you can be a model for this. So ito po ang mga different patient. I think there are almost hundreds of patients here. Okay? Ganon. We have also the admin function. In the admin function, you can see that Mr. Peter Kilala has 18, uh, you know, um, particular cases in in hold sa kanya. Uh, and the new one. So you can see also your role here uh, as an instructor, as an admin. So even I can delete myself <laughs> or even I can delete you no? uh, with this. So meron tayong mga function. Revoke, edit, email, and all. No? So these are the new functions, actually. No? Uh, and also, you can grant privileges. You can apply also your student to become instructor. Or your uh, a particular outside, like a hospital pharmacist, they can be also a marker. Or a particular, uh, shall we say, uh, instructor. Okay? Depending upon. Okay, and you have the students here. These are the line of students. Okay, wag na natin ni highlight yan because of confidentiality. Uh, these are some of the exercises. Okay, so you can see the different exercise here. You can even edit that one. Okay, so ganun po. You can even customize it. No? So, uh, any question with regards to the interface muna? Uh, anyone would like to ask about the interface? You want to ask about the interface? Uh, I mean the different features of the instructor's view or the admin's view. So meron tayong mga uh, tatlo na view, no? It's either student view, instructor's view, ay meron pa, marker's view, 
what is a marker review? Usually similar with instructor, but they're more into marking or checking the paper then of a particular ano. At the same time also, uh, meron din tayong uh, instructor's view. Sir, sa SPC ko na may dispense na open. Yes, don't worry. <laughs> okay, uh, pare pareha lang yan po. Okay, next one, uh, if there's no other question, we will go on to the highlight of making your uh, units. So this is the most uh, crucial part of the program. Okay, and please do try to listen because uh, this will be once only in dealing with this, uh, this unit. Okay, first of all, uh, I hope sabay sabay tayo uh, in making our unit. Okay, if you have already the instra uh, the admins view, okay, uh, try to okay, uh, no worries, okay. Okay, so let's move on to our uh, first add unit. Okay, once you add the unit, you'll be able to have your unit name, your description, and all. So I'm going to put here, like example unit, uh, medication review, shall we say, you know, for dispensing number two. Okay, medication review. You can also have in your clinical pharmacy or maybe jurisprudence or any subject in that matter, you can actually put here. Or shall we say DRP, drug-related problems. Like example, you can label that one in your unit, uh, in your unit maybe your code name, your uh, apeliedo mo, no, para you, it, will not, it will not be mixed with others, etc., etc. You can actually make your own. Uh, so DRP, PH care, shall we say our subject code, uh, 203, and then I would say Dr. Uh, Palier. Okay, so shall we say. And the unit description, uh, this, okay, this, uh, this, uh, pro, uh, this particular case, uh, this is designed, okay, you can put that design to assess the, the, the following skills of students. Para siyang LMS lang. No? Like example, number one. Ano yan? Like example, assess on the uh, dispensing process. Blah, blah, blah. And all. No? Number two, calculate the medicine uh, dose, etc., etc., and all. Then you put it the year and of course, save. Once you save it, it's already there. Bakit wala siya? Kasi hindi pa siya active. So you actually go to the, the main highlight, which is uh, it's either the unit name, pwede ni search on start, uh, years ended and all, but I usually go to all. So once all, you can actually see here my, ano, my, uh, my unit name. DRP PH Care 203 Dr. Palier. Okay? So yun po, I will click it. Once I click it, then wala pa siyang tutorial dyan. Okay? Bakit wala pa siyang tutorial? Kasi wala pa man tayo nag-make <laughs> ng tutorial, no? So, let's have new tutorial. Okay? New, from new tutorial, you'll be able to go on to your Create a tutorial. Okay? Or you may copy existing tutorial. Or you may import them using the MyD extension. Okay? So I'm going to create my tutorial. Okay? So from the copy of, uh, from the creating tutorial, I'm going to put here tutorial name. Ano ba yan? Like for example, uh, on medication review, shall we say. No? Then, what is the description? This tutorial assess the students on the following. Ano ba yan, no? Number one, dispensing uh, of medication. Number two, identify the appropriateness. 
Okay, two, appropriateness of medication and all. No? So, ganun. So, you'll be able to actually identify, is it a tutorial or an assessment? So, you can click on it if it is an assessment or not. Okay? So, ganun. But this is not an assessment. This is a tutorial. Okay? And then, uh, do not use student group or you'll be able to use student group. Okay? So, it depends. If you have a group, meaning group, is it Section 2A, Section 2B, Section, what section is it? These are groups. Okay, I'm going to explain later with that. And when you want to start your tutorial. And you'll be able to have the time also. Remember, this is the funny part of the program. Of, no? Nilagay ko dito kasi, no, pahiro-hiro talaga si teacher, no? Na nilagay ko dito sa announcement ko, you can access the My Dispense 24/7. Sabi ko sa mga student. Sabi ko then you can open it no any time of the day, parang ganon. So hindi ko alam pala at that particular time that was last semester that this My Dispense ang time pala niya is a Australian time. Hindi pala Philippine time. No? So, that is the major problem. Na ano. So, if you, as a, if you have, like example, 12 o'clock in the midnight or 11 o'clock uh, p.m., then please take note that this is class 3 no? of the time of Australia. So, do not actually tell to your student that it will be going to be viewed at 11 o'clock because remember this is already been out of date expired na siya kaya sa Australia 3 hours na ang, na, na ang ano 3 hours na okay so 3 hours na ang advance nila okay so you'll be able to uh, click it okay and save it now once you already once you already done it Okay, you have already your unit. This is your tutorial, whether it's an OTC or prescription. Then you'll be able to add up your certain uh, tutorial. So if you want to be a hero, then you want to make your own, since you have a lot of ample time, then you make your new dispense exercise. But if you want to maximize, what are there? What is inside of your my dispense? Then you can actually go on to add existing activity. Okay, when you add existing activity, these are given to us already the cases from US. Remember, what you are using right now is from the US pattern, not from Australian pattern or in the UK pattern. Now, but this is actually from the US. Because we are similar, similar uh, with the U.S. in terms of our practice, not from the Commonwealth countries. Uh, I've been working with Commonwealth, uh, Commonwealth territories uh, before, and I have seen the differences also with that. So I, I would recommend that you be able to, if you are new to this uh, platform, you be able to have add existing activity. Okay. So you have already all from A to Z with all the tutorial. So you can maximize this and you can even, uh, you know, you can make your own. It depends on you. For uh, example, uh, like example this one, exercise number one, OTC recommendation. So I'm going to have select exercise. Then I'm going to click yes, that I'm going to uh, use this and voila under this I'm going to uh, uh, click the plus voila I have the exercise already okay from nothing to actually uh, already here okay exercise number one but I'm not satisfied I want it to be more harder no and more challenging for the student chart no so I want to edit it so I want to edit, then please do edit. No, click this edit one. Okay. So when you click edit, 
what will happen? You have your case. You have your exercise already. Okay? So as, uh, while waiting for the internet connection and probability of not having this, then you have already. <laughs> no? So once you already have this exercise option, then you'll be able to have exercise name. I don't want to have exercise number one. I want to make it as, like example, uh, suitable. Like your code name, PHCARE203, shall we say. Uh, I make it as uh, RX number one. Okay? For prelim, shall we say. Ganyan. Gusto mo pa ng name mo? Sige, Dr. Falier. Okay, para highlighted talaga ang name mo. Okay, ganyan. Then you can even edit it, the exercise. You can even edit it, the exercise introduction. You can even edit everything here. You can even edit it. Okay? So just customize whatever you want. And I don't like the, 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 the face of the patient. I can still edit it. I will go to the patient details and then I can even, I don't like this name. I want to have Asian. So I'm going to click this one. So patient has a locked image. Then I will choose another patient. So I will choose another patient that may be similar then. Okay, I'm going to click this, Russell. And then uh, I can select already another patient. So you just survey it. You don't need to have a step-by-step -step process. You just actually unravel the secrets, how you'll be able to maximize and the potential of this my dispense. You'll be able to click, select patient image. And then you have a lot of, I want to be, to have, it, to have it more Asian. I don't want to have other, like foreigner. Baka hindi nila maintindihan. So I try to have, and then this is a pandemic. No? So what should I do? I want to have a face mask. So what should I do with this? So I'm going to, okay. I'm going to click the region. And from the region, uh, you can see here, uh, wala siyang ano, face mask. Sa inyo, wala siyang face mask here. Sa software niya. I'm, I'll go with our program. Uh, maybe we can add up with that with your picture. Uh, I'm going to share my slide and uh, let, wait for a while. Bakit wala siya, no? Okay. So, uh, let's Let's go on to our program. Bakit wala ito? Okay. Okay. So, okay. Region, body shape. Okay. So, I'll try to use our account. Uh, hopefully, meron. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try to go back and then uh, I'll try to go on with uh, one of the example of, of my uh, okay para maklaro, maklaro natin if ever meron ba o wala na ano, picture okay so I'll try to share my screen Okay. Just to uh, give you an example, uh, that can be adaptable in this pandemic also. No? Uh, while waiting for the signal, the internet, and all, uh, yesterday, actually, I, actually today is our examination for prelim also. No? So fortunate that uh, we can have some assessment later also. Okay, I want to change the patient. Uh, by having our, okay, um, I'll go first to our patients. Okay, I want to select a patient. From the selecting of our patient, 
you can see here the region there is actually here face mask have you seen it face mask uh, i think uh in i think uh, i don't know with other programs uh, we have incorporated here the face mask you can actually email also kate uh, with regards to the program in adding up the face mask picture okay uh, and then voila when you click the face mask you can see the different i don't know different people having the face mask okay uh, i think i'll go first to maybe there's some questions here hindi ko makita ang questions okay sir i can access for the unit i created paano po uh, you can actually click the the particular unit that you have uh, later on we will try to see po the the particular uh, unit okay uh, i'll try to stop sharing muna to address your question can you share your screen po sir mark uh, can you share your screen uh, so that i can assist you uh, okay po sir uh, then uh, i can address your question po sir yan lang po yung lumalabas sa, sa aking screen ah uh, okay so you can actually go to the unit i uh, no um you can actually you can actually go to the add unit Okay, I go to add unit. Magrelax mo na ako. Okay, add unit. Then you can actually have. Okay, kadaan po. Okay, just an example. Lagyan lagyan mo lang char char lang yan, no? Okay, dispensing turbulu incompatibilities. Add and save. Once you save it, uh, you go to active. Go kas active, sir. Active, active po. Then click all. Click all. After you have clicked all, then you go find your ano, pH care. I think pH care yata yung... Ayun na, farm 113. Yeah, farm 113. Then you go to new tutorial. Oh, diba? Iyan na lang ang role mo. Ano-ano ka na lang. Then you actually create tutorial. Then from create tutorial, then make chart type type lang, sir. Fate lang, char char, ganon. Okay, type. And then, uh, this is not gonna save, uh, save lang. Okay. Then, you have your unit already. Diba? Simple as that lang. Then, add activity, sir. From add activity, then wag ka mahiro. Doon ka sa add existing activity or else next year na tayo matapos. Go ka sa add existing activity. Then, add existing activity. Uh, click mo lang yung exercise number one, shall we say. Uh, select exercise. Oh, yes. Very good. And click mo yung plus sign, sir. Yung sa kilid. And then, you can actually edit. Very good. And, mm, okay po. yun lang, di ba? Okay, yeah. Thank so, you so much, bro. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank okay, you. Okay, okay, stop sharing na. Okay. Di ba? Simple lang masyado. Yes, uh, let's go on to the picture muna. So this is actually the the particular pictures that I actually say. For those na wala pang picture nito, please do tell uh, Sir Kate no, to add up a picture for you. Okay? Hindi lang namin na malayan meron palang picture. But we haven't requested this no, in our <laughs> in our ano, in our program. Nag-click lang siya, parang nag ano lang no nag message lang uh, general message lang sa all and then we have uh, get the particular uh, program na meron siyang face mask uh, i cannot see the chat box sorry uh, i'll try to click muna okay parang na hide siya okay uh, and then you can actually click if you want if you want it to more to be more Asian, you can click on ito, guwapo siya. I think siya. Siya ang ano, forever mo. Okay? Click lang. Okay, select image sa forever mo. Then you have this one. I hope hindi siya female. Ah! Female siya dapat. Okay, I changed it. Okay? So dapat pala female. Okay, sino kaya sa kanila? 
Okay, face, uh, hindi naman India, dapat face mask kasi pandemic. Female, to make it more Asian, okay, ito na lang kasi mas easier. Okay, parang nurse siya, parang hindi. Okay, uh, ito na lang, parang ano natin, parang Asian masyado. Okay, select image. Shall we say ganon? So you can edit it. You can edit it based on your, if you want and all. Then you can make it also as an assessment. So at the very end, you can enable it as your assessment. So I think this is, uh, this is actually, we're going to uh, have it in the later no? on having our assessment. Okay. So once you already done everything, I think it's out of my scope. It's, you can, we can actually design later on with the different deans I suggest. Uh, with the different deans to have a separate workshop for this you know, in making with the different cases. Because it takes a, an ample of time you know, of making with the different cases. I think I suggest to the different deans that you know, with Adamson, with UP and all, we can collaborate uh, in making with different cases. We can come up with around 100 of cases for Asian you know, for this. I think uh, we can do that. And then after which we can publish already. Okay, click publish. So once you click publish, you can see there it will go back to your, to your particular screen. Okay, that one. Okay, so if, you, if you're going to publish, then easily you can go back to your normal. Okay, wait for a while. I'll share first the... Adamson, uh, okay, here. Okay, and okay, uh, for a while. Okay, I'll share my screen. So, shall we say I click female uh, and then I'll try to click more Asians here that is similar with my case. Shall we say select? After I select, then I'll uh, already close this. Okay. Uh, and then uh, once I close this and I'll go back to my okay, select image, I'll go back and I'll publish it. Once I publish it, then I go back to my, uh, to my, no, here. Okay. So someone actually also make medication review. Huh? No? Uh, so, yeah. so you can already preview what you have made. So by clicking preview, you can you can actually assess also kaya ba ng sujante ito? Baka mahirap masyado, no? Baka ano masyado to, no? Hindi adaptable sa student. So you can actually view it and you can even test it, no? By yourself. So similar as what we have done uh, before. Okay? So ganun na. Meron na tayong case natin. So ganun po. Uh, I'll go back first. Very simple, di ba? So, any questions before we proceed? So, I still have, uh, yeah, uh, later on, I'm going to give the floor to our Dean, uh, Dean May, for the, for, before, no? Meron bang mga questions before si Dean May? Meron bang mga questions? Uh, if there's any question with regards to the case, how to make a case, how to make a unit, uh, that is how we'll be able to make a unit and, of course, uh, revise existing, uh, existing na mga cases. Okay? Or else you can actually make your own. Okay? It's not a problem. Ganun po. Uh, any questions? Any questions? Uh, sir, paano po submission ito? Do they need to export the file and email po sa atin? No. Uh, you, you have already the URL. So you just actually go to the assessment. and So before Dean May, I'm going to uh, do first the assessment as the last part. So can, uh, let me, allow, let me uh, allow to use my uh, our... 
our uh, portal first before anything because uh, it will take time in terms of making the assessment. Okay. 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 I'll use the SPC ano, muna because uh, meron tayong assessment nito. Okay. Uh, I, I would like to ask for the attention of everyone to please do focus on this so that it will not be a repetition no, of the of what we are doing. Okay. Shall we say you have an assessment? Because remember, in a tutorial, you don't have an assessment for this. It's only tutorial. Tutorial can be repeated in several times. That's what we have researched on, that there are repetitions of 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, depending upon na your tutorial. Now, this assessment, okay, this red one, is an assessment. How you be able to make an assessment? Very simple. No? Uh, as you make your unit, there is a there is actually a tick box there, right? You can tick that as an assessment. Usually, in in us when I when we teach from the tutorial up to the tutorial, we conducted an assessment for an, uh, for a particular student. Now I'm going to uh, give you our assessment. Okay. From the unit, I'm going to go into an exam manager. Okay? Remember, from the unit, I'm going to your exam manager. Okay? So from the unit to the exam manager. So I'm going to click here, exam manager. From the exam manager, I'm going to click a particular assessment. So shall we say practical number one? You just listen. Because this one, I'm, going, I'm using the San Pedro one. No? Because in your assessment there, uh, the problem is that I don't have a student in, uh, in hand first. So I'm going to show to you the particular assessment. So here, assessment practical number one. So it gives me an information really that 137 students have already submitted. Because of internet connection, as they have told me, that 78 of them have a problem in terms of going or moving into their my dispense. Okay? But majority get actually the my dispense, no? Thoroughly. Meaning suabe ang kanilang pagkaroon ng ano. But some of them have a particular problem. Okay? So what I do is that I'm going to click here not review. Okay? Not review. So for the sake of the recording, for the sake of confidentiality and privacy of the student, please cut this uh, video and please do not, uh, do not give our uh, activity or prescription, but Apa. no one can actually see your activity except okay. only your uh, activity lang po. Except for added students. Like yes, po. Po. yes. Okay. Po. Mm. Thank you, Pudok. So be careful with the student that you have added, added because some, some of them very intelligent, Masyado. They have two accounts, three accounts on the same. Okay. Which is actually, okay. dapat yun ang problem. Dapat, gaya nga, sinasabi namin kanina, is either 3A dash apeliado nila para you can identify kung pare-pareho lang. Like, for example, Falier, 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 tatlong account. And sabihin nila, hindi namin alam, sir, kasi ano, no, very intelligent sila. And they, you will actually give compassion. Akala mo, they are very honest. Pero yun pala, no, dishonest na pala sa kanyang ano. So, you need to watch out. Don't promote dishonesty kasi you can, they can create several accounts. They can manipulate it with three computers at the same time. So, watch out for it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Pudok. Okay. So, I think uh, we can move on to the next so that we can have a general questions later on. Uh, back to you, Dean. Ah, yes. 
Dean or Doc Armin, ako na ba? Yes po, Dean. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Kamusta? <laughs> Overwhelmed? <laughs> okay, po. how about a thumbs up that we are still alive and kicking even if our weather is a bit gloomy? We are still alive. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, how about a virtual applause to our speaker, Dr. Erwin Faller? That was so comprehensive, Doc Irwin. Thank you so much. Now, mine is just a sharing of the experience we had in San Pedro College, which we really want to like ripple and replicate to other institutions. And eventually, the entire education system of S um, of Phil of the Philippines will follow. So, uh, is my screen good? Can you see now my screen? Nakikita ba ang screen ko? Yes. Yes po, Dean. Okay. Thank you so much. Now, allow me to just present to you very quickly um, the assessment and applications of my dispense in San Pedro College. Because you see, uh, what we did was when it all started, when Dr. Irwin mentioned to me that how about we utilize a free system called my dispense so that it will enhance our instruction so we have been going blended learning it's sometime this is actually our third year to embrace a learning management system we are one of the first to have it in our school in our institution so because of that we we had this last semester and Thankfully, thankful ako sa initiative ni Dr. Irwin because he has been using this in Malaysia. And we were able to adapt, you know, adapt to the changes of the times. Actually, we had this because we wanted to embrace the fourth industrial revolution. That was one of the key moves, right, Dr. Faller? To, to be responsive to the fourth industrial revolution. Little did we know that Earthquakes will happen, and then eventually COVID came, that this was one of the powerful tools we have been using in the institution, in San Pedro College. So we were able to get the first URL for my dispense. So assessment in my dispense is very crucial. So what I would like to emphasize to everyone is that so that you learn from the experiences we had, we really had several cases and several practice sets for our students. And we told them that we would really check all practice sets. So as part of our assessment. And then this was one of the thing, the learning thing that we had. Now you can, we have 200, tama ba, Dr. We have 200 in the freshmen and 200 in, in our second year and third year students. And so we had about 400 plus assessments to check 400 cases one 400 cases times five cases imagine how many cases all in all will we be checking so that was one of the thing that i would like to highlight that as much as possible when we want to start up first if you want to start with this my dispense and integrate it in your assessment, especially those who are handling dispensing, handling dosage forms, because we had some spiral integrations of this in our competency enhancement. We suggest that if it's tutorial, you go with the automatic checkings, just so that you can check if your students were already attuned and adept to the use of the my dispense. Then you go for the manual and um, automatic checking on your final assessments. This will help ease out the burden of really checking one by one. Because it's like you will be checking 2,000 cases. So that is um, no, tedious. Tedious and laborious on our part. So yes, we recognize assessment is crucial. But for tutorials, you let them be. Yung pinakita ni Dr. Faller, the tutorials, they can like redo, rework. 
reassess themselves, then let them be. Malalaman nila saan sila nagkamali, malalaman nila yung scores nila because it's all automatic. But the automatic and the manual is on your final assessment. That's one thing I can really share to everyone uh, would work. Rather than we, you would be checking several um, cases because you wanted to check even their tutorials. So planning is the key. You have to plan what case you will give. No, it's very crucial that you plan what case you will give, something that would embrace everything that you would want to assess, and then one or two cases at the onset or initial part is enough. Just so that you can check if um, alam na alam na ba na mga estudyante ninyo kung paano i-navigate yung buong system. Rather than give them five cases right away, it would be good if you will just have one or two cases. And then, meron naman doon for the marking, which was explained by Dr. Fuller. Actually, I would advise that you have another round of a webinar exclusive for assessment and application. Right, Dr. Fuller? Because... That is the one that is very crucial, how you mark their exams. But we were happy in the department because you see, uh, my dispense is one of the most objective way of assessing them, knowledge-based, at the same time, skill-based. But you really have to ensure that um, everything is done objectively. The assessment is done objectively. And so we, you formulate very good rubrics to assess. So what we did was we tried it and we were happy that even if we check 2,000 cases, we only have one or two parang negative responses. I do not even consider it negative responses. Yun lang yung nasabi na duplication because they made use of two accounts. Right, Doc Fuller? And please, um, instruction tell them that instruction is really part of the exam because this is what happened they enrolled in a different class and because they enrolled in a different section their markings uh, they enrolled in two sections so most likely their markings will be credited in either of the section so one is zero and the other one is like almost um, 92 and unfortunately the one that checked because what we did as, is we also did collabor collaborative checking or marking in the department that we will not be overwhelmed with checking all the cases. So um, instruction is crucial because we had one um, incident that we failed the student um, simply because of all his assessments were zero. But actually, pala, he was assessing, uh, he was answering all of the cases. Unfortunately, he utilized the other account. So that could be a factor that you wanted to super emphasize at the start palang. That tell them to really just use one account and enroll in the right section or block or whatever you call it or grouping that you have. Okay, so as assessment is very crucial. Uh, not much to worry in terms of automatic or rubric-based assessment because the My Dispense creates its own rubrics. However, meron din siyang manual, manually checked or manually marked papers and that was what we did. So what's good in the manual is mag-share kayo professors. Um, ang idea namin was we had six sections and each sections have 42 to 45 students so what we did was we asked one para mas familiar we ask one faculty to check one section tas kanya lahat it check niya yun. another faculty for another section and another faculty and so forth and so on because if you will be checking everything mahirap what we did was we also had this um, collaborative teaching in the case. So yun yung sinasabi ko na hindi lang ginagamit ang my dispense in a single subject. We tried a spiral form where we integrate um, different subjects and then they pull in um, their resources so that we can come up with one case that will embrace everything. So again, since assessment is crucial, planning is very important. So at start pa lang, begin with the end in mind. What is it that you wanted to assess? Para what competency 
really would you want to get? What outcomes would you want to measure? Because from there, you can plan what appropriate case to give, what additional instructions to um, use, okay? which subjects will tap this particular case, which competencies will be um, derived from this particular case. So that's the one. So all of this, you can integrate both in your automatic, rubric-based um, checking, which is done by the MyDispense, and the manual rubric base. In terms of the manual, we also have to take um, what we did was uh, nag, nag gather kami ng ako, si Dr. Irwin, and some of the other professors who are in charge of the CEE program that we have, or we call it competency enhancement and evaluation in our institution. And what we did was um, we underline key points. Pag na-mention, like in, pag na-mention ito, kasi nakita ninyo yung mga allergy, question about alcohol use or consumption, pregnant ba, and etc. These are some of the questions. And sometimes, some of the questions are no longer relevant for a particular patient. And so, kasali dun sa rubric na ginagawa namin in the manual that they should not be asking this because it is not part of the um, case. No, logic and common sense will tell us that that you would not want to ask that because definitely the patient is four years old, for example, in the case of Tarantino. So this and many others, you have to really work. Uh, no. When you create a case, as much as possible, um, you have somebody to check or edit the case. So in, in our case, um, it was Dr. Fuller creating the base case but we have agreed what are the necessary things to be added on the case. Like we, we planned as a team that we have two over-the-counter cases and that in the two over-the-counter cases, we should have one that would go for analgesics or anti-inflammatory. We have another that would be more on GI, that will address GI abscess. So we plan together. No? So we had two I think that was two, tama ba, Doc Fuller? We have two meetings to really come up with um, a very good assessment for our second year student and first year student. So that's the one. The second would be this is an example, di ba napakita naman ni Dr. Fuller? These are examples of our assessment. Look at that. Um, on the admin side, one good thing is um, on the perspective of the admin to deans here present, you can check if your faculty is really using the My Dispense program. You can even reinforce them, give them perks and rewards because um, they were integrating the My Dispense in their respective classes. So notice, there's the prelim exam, they ha we have CEE bundle one, bundle two, sample exercises. So all of this are um, with the respective modifications, so you will know if it was updated, checked, and revised. So that's one thing that is very good on the admin, uh, admin side. The other thing is that you can see also, because when you click the cases, you can see how good the tool, the tool that was used by the, the teacher. So like in our case, Assessment has been a problem in online classes, if you will agree with me, right? No matter how you, you give your exams in a learning management system, even if it's period-bound or time-bound, the tendency would be that they will still browse, check, and etc. But again, there is a shift as to how you see evaluation or assessment is. In this case, mas maganda yung assessment. Actually, pag... pag Dispensing subject, pag calculation subject, pag um, dosage form subject, clinical pharmacy subject, anything, pharma, even pharmacology. Sometimes when you added, when a teacher will add this, I would really commend the teacher for adding this because for one, this would really tap all no? the necessary domains of learning our student can have or can get. So that's that's the thing. Now, this is an example of uh, the, ha the, the evaluation we just had last summer because we had this. Before you move to the next level, there is an, an overall evaluation of the student. We call it CEE. So this is CEE 2. So this is given to the second year as they move higher to the third year. 
And these are our sections from 2A, B, C, D, E, F. So we have six sections. So it is clear in the tutorial description because we gave them a tutorial so much so that they would be used to how our, we run our system that it's a 20 minutes per prescription. So from that period, we tried to answer it ourselves first so that we know that the, the, the minutes we are giving is enough for a student to also um, submit. And then we give them necessary instructions like submit, do, don't click submit for markings, because usually that is the error in the past. They submit for marking and then they redo again, and so kukulangin sila sa time. And actually, pag final exam, they are only allowed to take the case once. So that would mean magiging zero na sila for one case. So in this case, because this is a summative exam, um, for, it's a comprehensive exam, and so we had five cases. So we have, hindi ko na na picture yung ika fifth case. So this is prescription one, two, three, and four. And there are themes per prescription. And each of the themes that we did in per prescription, we really have to meet. Well, the faculty in charge will have to meet. And we critic each other's prescription so that we have a very good um, evaluation tool for our students. Okay? So the application, how about the application of, um, of the My Dispense? It's extensive to us. Huh? But you see, uh, the, the application, the software is only as good as its user. Do you agree? So kung hindi mo ginagamit kahit gaano kaganda, hindi mo na-export kahit gaano kaganda, hindi din siya magiging um, ap applicable uh, in a sense and hindi din siya magiging effective as a tool. Uh, that you use for instruction. So, but to us, we find it very extensive. Why? Because we made use of the spiral integration of this my dispense to the dispensing, primarily for the subject dispensing. But it will not start and end with dispensing subject. We wanted to integrate it into calculation, even the dosage forms, kasi pwede namang may easier, simpler case that will only tap more on the knowledge of the pharmacist on dosage forms. And as made mentioned by Sir Ace, soon in his informatics, yun na yung next spiral for integration. Saan din sa informatics ang pwedeng magagamit yung my dispense. Then we made use of my dispense in our comprehensive enhancement program. The one that we use as a qualifier to move them to the next level. And we hope soon when our students from freshman to the third year are already used to using it, then we can have a pre-internship program, which will still use the My Dispense. The goal here is that at start, they will have entry competencies needed so that they go to the internship program. So how do we measure that? We measure it using the My Dispense program. We have to like meet again, create a case, so much so that all the necessary competencies prior to internship are already there. No? And this is the assessment tool that we wanted to use. Now, this is an example of the one that we had in our August um, 7 virtual OSCE or Objectively Structured Clinical Exams. I'm think, I, I do think everybody is already familiar with this. But we have our OSCE live, no? in person. We have cases, we have simulated patients, and etc. that are read really there in the respective stations. Unfortunately, we can do that um, because of COVID. And so we were bent to like modifying our program. And so what we use, we had a virtual OSCE. We made use of breakout rooms for Zoom for the cases. And then, paano namin nakikita and ensure that they do not copy, they do not use the, uh, anong tawag niyang app ngayon na pwedeng sabay-sabay, nakikinig sila, o oh, anong case na ang meron ka? Ito na ba ang answer sa ganitong case? Et cetera, may ganong app, right? So, how do we know, how do we ensure na walang ganong mangyayari? Kasi no matter how we say na dapat they be honest and et cetera, mas maganda na din that our system is already also parang proof in a sense. So, what we did was, at 1 p.m., they will be assigned to a designated Zoom room. And then we also have virtual proctors in charge one frame to look at them while they are taking a specific case. 
So that was what we did in our CEE ladder rise program. So this is an example of the announcement we have so that they will be prepared. So we'll just ask them for a sheet of paper so that they can write important notes kasi important in yung cases, di ba? Then a pen and a calculator for their computation. And then they have five cases. And then we have one um, device used so that we can check them using the Zoom and another device so that they can navigate through their case in the My Dispense. Okay. So that is basically the assessments that we so far had and the applications of these My Dispense program in our delivery of instruction and evaluation in our institution. So I hope um, we can, you can learn from the experience we have. And actually soon, when you also have your experience, we can even share best practices on how we optimize the use of our My Dispense program. And I would like to echo and resonate the thoughts of Dr. Faller that since we all already have a handful of institutions using this, we can really work hard so that we can also create Philippine-based cases. Ano, and alone kasi, as an institution, we, we are only limited to our own capability. But together, if all institutions would work together, then we can standardize a very good pre-internship program. This could really be a very good pre-internship program, the My Dispense program. So, maayong hapon. Gandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Uh, thank you very thank much, you so Dean May. Uh, I think uh, we can have uh, at least two minutes of time with Sir Ayan. Uh, Sir Ayan, with your uh, testimony with it. Okay, so once again, good afternoon to everybody. So um, once again, I am Ayan Ace Pacquiao and I am one of the professors. I am a part of the faculty of San Pedro College and I'm going to just share a short um, experience with the application since I, I know since I started using it last summer so basically the application itself is when you're starting when you're starting out and you're going to create the uh, I would like to ask that I will be sharing my screen so this is an example of what I have been doing for the past few um, few days now with, because I'm going to do an activity with regards to the provision of information towards towards uh, special populations or special groups of patients so dito sa case ko po kasi um yung may merong mga mag, may, my dispense is actually a very nice outlet for this because it provides a means na parang mas interactive yung ano yung yung interaction ng student tsaka ng ano ng case kasi kapag usually written lang yung cases natin ang nangyayari is parang wala yung sense of yung connection ng student which is something that is very important when you're going for experiential learning so an example of that i was playing around with the cases so I, as you can see on the screen here merong ano merong pasyente na nagtatanong about ano about a particular medication so the students can actually just check this but the nice thing about my dispense is that this this can own this can be tailor fit not only for dispensing um as i was exploring the functionality of this particular application i saw that there were areas that patients can actually ask spe very specific questions so an example of this i can actually tailor fit or create patient questions like even though it's unrelated to the topic or unrelated to pharmacy or like you can ask questions about um about pricing about what are the laws that are associated that's why i was talking about the aspect of including um legal pharmacy in this particular application so a patient would come in and ask na can i buy this medication According to the law that I just read, na I'm not supposed to buy this, uh, no, this medication without a prescription. So I can actually create those kinds of questions here in my dispense to give the students a more interactive experience when they are going to discuss or they are going to create or they are going to answer questions. So an example, I was playing around with this a few days ago. So this was, uh, no, this is just a test 
run for a particular case. So the patient asks about um, anasin. So we can click this and then the, the student can then actually start asking questions. So let's click towards patient questions and you can ask if the patient has any questions for you. This is a nice area for interaction kasi pwede ako as a teacher i-input ko lahat yung mga questions na gusto kong marinig ang answers ng student. For example, ganito. So what is this medication for? So the student can actually talk and then if this is the tutorial type and my goal of this is I'm going to see if they are able to ano, to follow the protocols that we set in a previous discussion in our classroom setting. So I'm connecting my synchronous discussion with an asynchronous activity. So the application and the manifestation of learning is there. So the student can actually type anything that they want in terms of reply here and then the hard part of that, though, is the checking portion as what has already been discussed by Dean Tesoro and, Sir Faller, and Dr. Faller in a, um, a while back. Now, this, for example, I'm going to give um, just a random answer. And then the, an, uh, another, uh, there are other questions that can be asked. So we can actually continue clicking and then you just give your, uh, the student gives their answers. And then when they are done, the fun fact of that is that it provides you with a, an executive summary of everything that you managed to give. So sample, I'm going to give this prescription out. So um, recommend and then finish. So afterwards, the student can actually see what they did. And then all of the notes and then everything. So we can also see everything that has been discussed so there are a lot of i uh, know there are a lot of there is a lot of potential for this particular application in terms of learning because we can provide a more interactive display or inter a more interactive output for our students so i hope that sooner or later we will collaborate on different cases for this because with that simple case it took me like two hours to make because the 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 interface of the application is a bit hard especially if you're starting out when you're learning but hopefully we can learn and we can move forward with this so that's all for my sharing of this particular application and i hope that you ha all have a wonderful afternoon uh thank you very much uh sir ayan actually i just uh invited sir ayan because they have uh, a lot of experiences now uh, we don't actually only consume our energies on the dispensing practice with the my dispense, but also with other uh, areas of practice. Even you can have biochemistry. So our chemistry team is actually moving on to use my dispense also uh, for biochemistry, especially with biochemistry values and all, and other uh, other disciplines, especially in pharmaceutics. Yeah, and others also. So uh, let's go back to the main questions. Are we ready then to actually move on to our uh, to our uh, particular dispensing or a particular use of the my dispense? So uh, I'm sure we are all ready, right? So uh, okay, just an invitation to all of us from Adamson and SPC. On November 16 to 20, we will conduct with the Pharma Olympics. This is actually an initiated by uh, two programs, two departments also, the Adamson University and San Pedro College Pharmacy Department. Uh, in line with my office also, the Internationalization and Inkijas Department and also by the students. So this is actually the another version of the My Dispense for the students, okay? So, ito po ang mga hindi matatanda ng mga grupo. No? So, the Pharmacolympics, they're going to they're going to collaborate. They're going to uh, collaboratively compete to one another with regards to the My Dispense. So, I hope that uh, our PACOP and non-PACOP members uh, will actually join us. Walang pilitan. Uh, ito ay ano lang po, invitational for all, no? Who would like to join the Pharmacolympics. So one of the highlights for this, aside from the My Dispense, would be 
vlog and also uh, TikToks na no? and of course meron pa sila mga other activities na mga hindi ko naiintindihan kasi nandoon po tayo sa mga generation ng mga wranglers mga matatanda na mga ano so usually it's uh, led by the students uh, with the guidance of the uh, lecturers or the professors here no so i think that's all if you want to uh, try to contact us please do contact us with this email and also my personal number no uh, so thank you very much for the uh, invitation from Adamson SPC and also by University of the Philippines and St. Louis maraming salamat po so this is not only the end but this is actually the start of our collaborative uh, you know uh, approaches for our uh, team for the my dispense Philippines I hope everything will be successful then uh, in your programs in using with my dispense book Okay, thank you very much. So, thank you very much, po, and Dr. Kaler, for the comprehensive instruction on how to use the light in my discipline. It will definitely help us in making our tutorial activities in assessment. Uh, at least, ngayon, sir, hindi na kami yung todo kapa lang. Uh, my <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, for that. Uh, Dean Tesoro, thank you po for the advices regarding po the possible applications of my distance in other uh, uh, other subjects that we can use it, uh, that we can explore also in uh, the delivery of uh, pharmaceutical knowledge. Uh, Sir Ayan, thank you po for the tips on the delivery of the lesson to make the interactive things in this discussion. Uh, using my distance, but very much appreciated. Uh, Dr. In order to express our appreciation for Dr. Ed, uh, Erwin Palier, so uh, this would be uh, the e certificate as the guest speaker for the training entitled uh, My Distance. A virtual training for dispensing related courses given the 17th day of October year 2020 at Adamson University, signed by Dean Fatima Mayor Tesoro and Dean Perita M. So, virtual applause po naman tayo. Thank you po. Thank you very much po. Um, ano lang po muna, uh, reminders lang po. So, please, uh, Ms. Uh, Rescober provided the link for the Google form. So this will be used for the evaluation of the activity so that we can provide you with uh, better uh, webinars later on. And to formally close our program post, so uh, can we ask you Tesoro for the closing remarks? Hello? Am I audible? Yes, for Okay. So, transformation begins with inception. Sino bang nakapanood ng movie ni Leonardo DiCaprio on inception? Alright. So, this short but very comprehensive My Dispense webinar workshop is but apt and timely as educators navigate in this unchartered territory of delivering instruction in full online mode. And so, how will us pharmacy educators contribute to a world and transform the world lies as to how educators will plant the idea and leave the inspiration. So I say the lecture of Dr. Fuller has had helped enrich us as educators on something that we can use and infuse in our lessons activities. So again, we commend and thank our speaker for a thorough and excellent presentation, particularly on the technical things in navigating 
for my dispense. So ngayon, parang it's like we are learning piano. Hindi na pwede yung widow, widow lang or kapa-kapa lang as what you have made mention. This time, at least we had some steps as to how we would really look at each cases and how we will even mark or assess papers. I also thank our collaborators, no? Dean Perley of Adamson, Dean Francis of UP, from Roda of the St. Louis University for making this faculty development webinar possible. So thank you for coordinating, especially to Adamson's University and for facilitating for this webinar workshop. Again, this is just the start as we educators will go back to our respective institution and utilize this so much so that our um, deliveries would be further enhanced and we go with the My Dispense program. But again, this is the beginning because we still have um, student conference. So we are inviting, um, SPC is hosting together with the intern national linkages and um, Adamson. We have been meeting your students for quite some time now for a student conference and an Olympiad of sort. So it will be divided into two categories. One is for the beginners category or the ones with the URL already and the ones that aren't yet to go into my so I hope we will support our students on this endeavor as they too would try to begin collaborating at their own levels. So thank you so much, dear colleagues. Happy Teachers Month. This is our month and what better way to celebrate it than to be enriched and be challenged further so that everything will be for the benefit of our students. Thank you so much for your virtual presence. God bless us all. Happy weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cody. Uh, can I request everybody po to uh, open their camera so with this we can have our picture taking uh, for documentation po. Sorry, Doc. Sorry, Doc Francis. Soon to be. <laughs> Not yet the dean. <laughs> Not yet the dean. Uh, department chair of Yes, the Our department department. chair of UPCT. Thank you, Doc Francis. So we'll see what will happen. <laughs> Open po ng camera. Sure, taking lang po tayo. Sir Jerry, Mountain, Mom Marian. Hi, Mami Eva. Pa Open po camera. Ito wala yung proxy dito. Ayaw ha. Okay na po siguro. <laughs> Anak ka. Sige po, okay na po. Uh, ready po. One, two, three, sign. Tama po. One, two, three, sign. Sa inyo po mga aki. <laughs> okay tayo. One, two, three. Thank you very much po for attending the webinar. So this will be your MC and Anthony Oli. Thank you for attending po. Salamat po, madam. Bye-bye. Thank you po. Thank you, thank you, thank you Dok Pallard. Thank, 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 thank you, Dean May and everyone. Dok Kapule, thank you. Thank you po. Thank you, Marod. Bye-bye. Take care. God bless. God bless po. Thank you.